This is episode 307 of the Clyde Parker podcast and episode four of Jericho Squad 77, our Dungeons and Dragons game set in the Clive Barker world. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination. Uh, Don Bertram's is a, has been a sponsor of ours since we started having sponsors. Uh, proceeds from his Etsy shop go to the Arts and Medicine Program at Texas Children's Cancer Center. Uh, so you can help us out uh, and help our sponsors and help all the kids at the same time by buying one of his original paintings or his books. And actually, I have I have one of his paintings here, if you can see that. Uh, it's called The Sentinel. And uh, check out his latest painting if you go over to CliveBarkerCast.com. Uh, click on the side banner. You can go to his uh, Etsy shop. And check out his late latest painting. I'm going to share that here really quick. There we go. That's uh, called batting practice. All right. So uh, where we last left off. Um, Jericho Squad 77, a disparate group consisting of a Uretimex sway worker, a seer kind bard, a talking nuncia at Seagull, a priestess daughter of a set, and a nightbreed warlock channeling the power of the divided god Baphomet. Uh, so on the outskirts oh, yeah. of Isordorex, Squad 77 successfully pulled off their first mission, the rescue of Chertovir's brother Drovo from a warehouse run by Anulianak and his cultist lackeys. Uh, though our group killed everyone involved and accidentally burned down the warehouse in the process, uh, Chur was happy to get his brother, but unhappy at some of Drovo's strange behavior and unnerved by the prophet, a prophecy from the Boston Bowl of Drovo killing their leader, Bentley Widget. The group has also begun to suspect the involvement of Drovo's political rival and former member of Squad 77, Cassius Breyer. Cassius! All right. So that's where we're at. And if you guys are good, well, um, I'm going to see if I can share the intro right into the video now instead of to cut back on my editing. Sure. Accidentally set the barn on fire. It definitely wasn't an accident. <laughs> what was the name of the Nullianac? Was he like number 27 or 13 or something? All right, here we go. Number 28. After the destruction of Midian. After the unraveling of the fugue. After the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions. The Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. was amazing uh, <laughs> good old simon banford narrating that intro yeah all right so uh la last time uh everyone had uh, gone to sleep some stayed up uh watching videotapes with bentley widget and others went straight to sleep um drovo is sleeping in in Chertovir's room on a sleeping bag on the floor um, at four o'clock, uh, sure, at four o'clock in the morning or thereabouts, you're kind of blurry and, and uh, tired, but you feel something kind of bump the bed. 
And uh, as you wake up, you notice that uh, Drovo seems to be uh, trying to sneak out of the room. Drovo, my brother, what 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 is wrong? Are you restless? Uh, you're safe. What's going on? I um, I didn't want to drag you into this, but but um, it's it it's really bothering me that that my my sword is gone. Uh, I I want to go back. I want to now that the, I'm sure the fire is out. I want to go back and and search the rubble and and get it. Yeah, would you I, like to? Would you like to come with me? I, I yeah. know it's very early, and I didn't want to wake you and and drag you into it. But now no, you're awake. Yes, of course. Uh, yes, of, I completely understand. I mean, our swords are you know part of who we are, and uh, we attune ourselves to them. So, of course, I will help you try to get that. Uh, it was just that at the time, you know, we uh, we were trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. But uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let, let's. Um, Let's take the truck and go back to that. Should we go okay. by ourselves, or do you think we need backup? Uh, I think we should be okay. I don't. I don't feel good waking everyone else out, up for this. Um, but uh, make a stealth check to see if you can get through without waking everybody else up. Famous last words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stealth check. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to roll for stealth. Yeah, and if you go down to your stealth skill, if you want to just use the thing, you can just click the plus six on there, and I think it'll roll it for you. There we go. It rolled a six plus two equal eight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not very stealthy. <laughs> no. I guess I Drovo tripped says, falling out of the bed. Yeah, Drovo says, you got to do better than that, brother. Come on. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's try another one. Okay. okay. I have gotten a 22. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So after learning from your mistake and and rubbing the, the goobers out of your eyes, uh, you do much better this time and you're able to sneak out uh, and you go out to the garage and get the motorcycle with the sidecar and, oh, yeah. uh, and, and head out. It's uh, about four in the morning um, in, in his order X. So the uh, comet has not quite come out of the uh, up the horizon yet. Um, but you get on the motorcycle and head out to the uh, to the warehouse. All right. Uh, on on the drive, uh, Drovo says, uh, "I want to talk to you for a minute, if it's okay." Yes, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead, Drovo. What's 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 on your mind? What's bothering you? Well, I, I when I said I didn't remember uh, doing those things, signing that paperwork or attacking the Nolian Act, that's not exactly true. I was ashamed to, I'm ashamed to admit that I did those things and I remember them and they seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but I don't understand why. Hmm. Do you think that you were under some sort of sway or some sort of spell? That would make sense. I suppose I was unconscious for quite a while. So I, you know, some and people could have done anything. Yes, I, uh, I was a He's little... yelling because you're on a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, and I, 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 that's why I was a little weird when you got back because I saw something really scary in the Boston Bowl and I wasn't sure if you were yourself at the time. No, I understand. Uh, I'm glad you took precautions. Uh, that would ruin me if I were to kill, uh, kill this furry man. Wait, so... So you did have that on your mind? Uh, no, no, I, I didn't. Because <laughs> I never said anything about what the Boston Bowl. Yeah, you did. You, Bowl. did, you, you did told I? him. You told him oh, last time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, that furry guy is a really nice guy. He likes movies. Yeah, he certainly does. I, that's a fifth dominion thing that I never, I never really acquired a taste for. Yes. They call them uh, VHS. <laughs> right. So, um, but you bring an in interesting point, my brother. Um, we should probably try to figure out if, uh, if you're in some sort of enchantment on you or something. Uh, do you know of any kind of enchant uh, spell that we can, any way that we can like know whether or not you're being controlled by some hidden force? Hmm. 
I, I that's not really my area of expertise. Uh, so okay. ma yeah, make an Arcana check and see if you can. Okay, Arcana check. And I get a 12 plus 5, 17. Wow, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, so one spell that you can think of, there's a spell called uh, Suggestion that it's more, it's above your level of something that you can do. Okay. But uh, it does uh, it does sort of Manchurian candidate somebody to program them to do things. But yeah, but I don't I don't have that right. You don't have it, no. But you've read about it, and so okay. you wonder if that might be what it was. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe you've been put under that uh, suggestion spell. Um, so you, do you remember anything when they interrogated you? Do you remember any sort of like sway being worked on you? Uh, no, uh, no, I, 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 I've really only ever heard people through the wall, uh, through the door. And I, I knew, I knew I had this certain feeling that whoever came through the door, I had to do whatever they said, and then things would be better. Hmm. So that does seem like there is some kind of suggestion put on you. We'll and have then, to. Uh, after that, I knew that I had to kill the Nullianak. Huh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that, that you know, Cassius Breyer, I, I felt that he might be involved in this. I mean, we don't have any proof, but but he was our political opponent, your major political opponent. Um, and he did support the, the Aboriginal children, but why would he want you to kill the Nullianak? That wouldn't make any sense. So we have, to, we have to think about this. Maybe we should share this with the rest of the team when we get back. Yeah. Well, um, we'll have to investigate this carefully too, because uh, he knows, a lot about us. Well, he knows about your Jericho squad. When you say he knows, you're talking about Cassius? Cassius knows, yeah. He, 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 he knows where you're located. He knows you exist. Well, yeah. I mean, he's friends with Bentley. So, yeah. Yeah. He, uh, uh, well, you know, we'll have to investigate. We'll have to share our thoughts with, with Bentley and the rest of the team. But um, But for now, I guess we should be we should be looking for your sword. So we're almost there. Yes. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, be a few more, a few more minutes until we get to that barn. I hope that uh, that that is no longer used as a base of operations by uh, by those cultists. As you start to pull up, you see that there are a couple of of guards, and uh, you get a little closer. Uh, they look like Ethaks. Um, and oh. and you recognize them to not be they're not cultists they appear to be some kind of uh, they appear they're uh, they're the uh, Isordorexian militia yeah so they're like they're like police and army sort of rolled into one I, I go like uh, Trovo darn they got the Othax these guys are really tough they're tough as nails um, Maybe they're just guarding this to try to figure out what happened here. Should we, sh what do you think? Should we go talk to them? I think that we would be hard pressed to explain our, our um, reason for mm. coming here. Mm. Yeah. And uh, you can see actually through the walls of this because it's burned quite a bit. Uh, make, an, uh, make a perception check. Okay. Perception check. Uh, let's see. I have rolled a 17 plus four, 21. All right, yeah. Well, so with the 21, uh, you notice, and the Ethax don't even see this, but you notice that there's, uh, there's a, a dark shape kind of flitting about uh, going through the rubble. Hmm, okay, a dark shape. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a person, but they're, they're wearing dark clothes and it's hard to, they're, it's hard to make out who they are. So the Othax already saw us pull up, right? No, no, nah, no, they didn't. They didn't see us pull up in a. Yeah, you're you're hidden. Okay. Okay. You're hidden um, behind their jeep. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I see it. I see it on the map. 
I say actually Drovo. I should probably share that. Mm -hmm. I say uh Drovo, it looks like looks like they're checking out. There's someone in there going through the ruins. We need to find your sword before they do. Um maybe we should try to stealth around the barn. Do you know in which area your sword might have been? It was not a, it was not in the corner where you were uh captive, was it? Did the Nullianak took it for himself? Uh I know that I woke up without it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And uh, and as you're discussing this, you hear, um, "Hi guys." And uh, uh, if you if you look by if you look near you, uh, you see uh, you see Bustle. Uh, you remember Bustle and Pancake, the two thieves that oh, were hired yeah. by uh, that were hired Bentley by Bentley to, to get uh, more merchandise for the store. Uh, actually, Bentley sent us here uh, to to gather up anything that belonged to to um, Drovo and uh, any other kind of loot that we can get out of this that wasn't burned to a crisp by you guys. Oh, so you guys are you guys are here with the Oath Hacks? Uh No, we're we're trying to avoid them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, did you did you find anything yet, or you're still kind of figuring out how to get in there? Well, uh, that's. Um, Pancake is already in there uh, gathering oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I see her. I think I see her. Okay. Uh, and and so, you see, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So what's 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 the best way to get inside that uh, that place? I think maybe we'll just let Bustle, or I mean, we'll let Pancake finish what uh, what he's doing there, and then we'll uh, we'll see what he got. Okay. Okay. So I, I hide with Drovo and lay low until until uh pancake comes out okay so pancake is gonna make a stealth check to get out of there cool okay 19 so he manages to sneak past oh i can't move pancake <laughs> but he manages uh to sneak through the wall and come around uh by the rest of you okay Cool. So I'm like, so, so pancake, uh, did you, did you find anything in there? Did you find my brother's sword or any sort of artifacts? Uh, let's see. There weren't any swords. Uh, I found, you see, um, and he, he pulls out a, a, a marble statue. It looks like a statue of, of, uh, the goddess Uma Uma Gamagi. Mm -hmm. Uh, he pulls out a, a, a buckle that's uh, got brass on it, um, a chain um, with copper, uh, a talisman uh, of Tisha Lule. And, uh, and what you recognize immediately to be the silken sword to him, he's like, I, and I found this scarf. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it, Drovo, he, here's your sword. She found it. He says, oh, thank God. Or thank the goddess. Uh, yeah, the rest is kind of junk, but, uh, I guess if you guys can sell that, you know, that that's great. Actually, he, um, and, and, uh, Bustle says, actually, this stuff looks very valuable. Uh, and okay. there's an ivory neck necklace, uh, also, you know, pertaining to Uma, Uma Gamagi. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and there's a yellow flask, uh, a flask of a yellow, uh, liquid that's streaked with black, uh, swirls. Hmm. Okay. Can I, uh, can I, uh, can I do a check to, to see if I can identify what it is? Uh, yeah. Make the, the potion. Yeah. Yeah. Make an arcana check. Okay. Let me just make an arcana check. Let's do, it's like, this looks familiar. I have rolled a arcana check of 24. Wow. Uh, yeah, well, with the 24, um, you, not only do you know that this is a potion, but uh, you know it's a potion of speed, so it'll make you go faster. You get more actions per turn. You can you can move faster. Um, Yay. Yeah, so it's worth hanging on to. Do I turn yeah. into a blue hedgehog? <laughs> right. Yes, <laughs> you got to go fast. And, then, and, and so uh, at this point, you... Um, Pancake says, "I think that we're pressing our luck here. Let's let's uh, get out of here. If you 
if we can kind of cling on to your motorcycle here for a little ways. Uh, <laughs> I, we've got the park car parked down the road. Oh, okay. Um, isn't it gonna await? Isn't it gonna uh, surprise the Othax to have a motorcycle like you know rev up all of a sudden? Well, presumably you guys pushed it up to where it is here. Um, okay. So you could probably push it back a ways, you know, yeah, yeah. start it so out like, of their eyesight. So, okay, like Pancake and, and Bustle, you get behind the bike. You kind of push it a little bit out of the way near the road so we can get it started. And, uh, you know, so we can not alert the Othax. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so we do that. And then I kind of rev it up. And, um, okay. Make a stealth check again. Okay. And I'll do the yes. same for uh, Drovo and Bustle and Pancake. Okay, another stealth check wow. here. I have rolled a 20 plus 2, 22. Okay. So the lowest was a 9, but everybody else did really well, so you managed to kind of cover it up okay. And they, they, uh, didn't, they didn't really notice you. Awesome. They thought they heard awesome. something, but it wasn't enough to get their attention and make them make them come over. So now you're able so, to uh, to start to get far enough away that you can start the motorcycle and head back. All right, Vroom, here I go, and I you okay. know bustle and and pancake go into their car and they drive away. So yes, yeah, and you're all headed back to the same the to the garage. Yeah, they got to dump all that junk in the store. Yeah. So okay, so we're going back. Yeah. Uh, and at this point, it is now about, where am I? Oh, I, um, yeah, I'll stop sharing that for a minute. Okay, there we go. So. Is there any music Sorry, today on the map? scrolling here. Okay. Because I'm not hearing uh, anything. At, uh, at about 5.30 in the morning, um, everybody that's still asleep in the, uh, in the barracks make a, a perception check. Fifteen. It looks like Jonathan got a fifteen. Anybody else? Is that a five? I got a five. Okay. I got a five. All I got right. A, a Seventeen. Okay, so Jonathan and Ralph, uh, you wake up and you hear some sort of murmuring uh, talking from from uh, from Bentley. Uh, it's a one-sided conversation, so it sounds like he's getting a he's getting a a, a message, you know, a, sort of the the magical type message. He says, uh, "Yes, you know, it's very early here still. You need to get yourself a computer." <laughs> What's a computer? I understand, but I already told you this group isn't ready for that place. We only just got them back together after last time. You must get another squad. I get it. Oh, oh no. Uh, I'll let her know. No, you know he quit right after. I can't do that. Do you want to come here and do that? He was my friend, but he also scares the shit out of me. We are also investigating him right now. Look, this is some complicated stuff. I'm telling you that's a bad idea. Whatever's going on, we're going to have to solve it without him. I'll get back to you. And that's the end of it. And I haven't arrived there yet, right? I'm still on the way. No, no, yeah, you're still on the road. Gotcha. So who, who overheard him say that? It was Ralph and who? That um, in me is Livingston. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. Rob's texting me secret stuff. Just a second. <laughs> Another one-sided conversation. <laughs> yes. 
Well, I didn't think I didn't think that was that important. I'm going to go back to sleep unless somebody's making French toast. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This, I did promise you my breakfast. This computer might capture me. But I will have some French toast. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> well, I wasn't making French toast. I was seeing if there was French toast. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, there, there's there's not anything yet. Okay. Uh, but you do see Bentley kind of bleary-eyed coming out and, and looking around to see if anyone else is awake. All right, I'm going to hop on um, the pan and just sit there and stand <laughs> near him expectantly. I think Looks if like you do that, someone will eventually make us breakfast. Well, 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 good, mo good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Who's on the phone? Uh, well, um... Uh, that that was uh, that was Squad Nine. Uh, her name, I gotta look up her name. Are they the <laughs> ones who are in the Weave World? Uh, no. Um, oh, the that, uh, her name Midian. is her name is Tressa. Uh, Midian, from right? Squad Nine. No, Midian Squad Thirty Two. Oh, Thirty Two. Sorry, I think. Are you gonna send us off to die? Am I what now? Well, it sounded like there was something pretty heavy going on. Oh, so you heard some of that. Yeah, I heard about um, the computer. Yeah, I eavesdrop on everything. Yeah, and, and at this point, if anybody else wants to come out, there's you hear some pretty loud talking, so you might... Yeah, be I'm, not, I'm not quiet. Yeah. Walk. He says, is, is, has Musette, uh, is Musette awake yet? I want to do some really loud seagull noises, like... Coo, coo. Okay. <laughs> She is now. So yeah, he said it's not happy. I, uh, and listen. there's no food. Well, it's, er, it's very early. Is working on it. I'm, st yeah. I'm, just, I'm just starting. Okay, so uh, do you remember a while back when when uh, uh, Squad Three in Liverpool asked if if we might be able to help them uh, go over to see uh, to see Squad Nine in the African desert? No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, well, they went without you. And I, that was for the best, I think, because I didn't think you were ready for that. Uh, you hadn't even had one mission yet. Um, at least as a cohesive squad here. And I, I don't know what was going on over in Midian, but as a cohesive squad 77, you hadn't had a mission together yet. So I didn't think that it was right. So and Squad Three, honestly, they have not had much action at all. So I figured they, they were due. Uh, anyway, they went uh, to the African desert. They went into the. Uh, they went into that horrible place, and uh, they never came out. Um, I'm sorry, Musette, but your cousin uh, is missing for two days now. Man, I haven't been to Africa in like 12 years. You've been to Africa? Oh yeah, I've been, I, I've circumnavigated the globe a couple of times. Wow, that's impressive. Can I try to reach my cousin with the yeah. cell phone case? Yeah, yeah, you can. With, with the Polaroid book and stuff, that that's what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, right? well, yeah. and she actually, her cell phone has photos that she can also oh. use. Yeah, 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 cool. Right. It's the, I mean, it, the, the cell phones are pretty much useless for everything in, in, except for that, uh, because there's no, obviously no service in, uh, in Rex. second dominion. Yeah. They haven't started planting all those antennas over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not yet. There, there's a contract yeah. out, but, <laughs> but you can flip through the pictures to kind of help you focus your, your energy and you, and Musette knows her cousin well enough that she could probably do it with a, a you know, with a, with an arc, uh, an arcana check to just roll um but you just if you look at a photo you can do it without rolling so yeah do you want to you want to talk to her okay so yeah i mean if she's been missing and i'm the only person that can get in touch with her maybe we okay. can figure out what's going on with their okay so you got to roll an arcana check no no not if oh. she's using a picture she doesn't have ah, to she can gotcha. just start talking to her Okay. Aldrin. Aldrin, are you okay? 
few seconds go by and she says, Musette? Musette, wh where, where are you? I'm with Squad 77 and Bentley. Where are you? Uh, I'm I'm stuck. I I'm I'm trapped. Uh, if I go out of this door, actually I can't get out of this door. But if I do, the uh, they'll they'll come for me. Who's they? I'm afraid. I don't. Are are you are you? Are you, are you guys coming here? We we just heard news that your squad has been missing for the past two days. Are, is, is it just you or do you still have your squad? What happened? They're all dead. Um, I'm, I, I managed to get into this room uh, to get away, but uh, there, the door only opens one way. So I am stuck, and if I go out, they'll come after me, I think. Do you know who's after you? Uh, there's some kind of living shadows. And are you still in the, in the desert? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we were trying to uh, to do what squad 9 failed to do they um Tressa if you talk to Tressa she can tell you uh, more about it if if you're coming here be very careful okay well, my uh, uh, my squad obviously was not up to it you know, uh, protecting the fugue has been a, an easy job. Okay, well, we will try to get to you as quickly as possible. Will you be okay? I think if I stay in here, uh, they know, they know that I still have silver bullets, so they don't come through the door. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'll report back to to everyone in seventy seven, and we'll get with Tressa, and uh, come and get you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I well, be careful. Okay, we will. Okay. So, and you don't hear anything more from from her. Yes. Yeah. Metaphorical thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and so, um, actually, anybody that's had a little time in Jericho Squad can make a history check and see if you under if you know what's going on in the in that um, that particular uh, in the the uh, it's in Tunisia in the in North Africa. So that would be um, Musette, or or um, Zoe, or Ralph. Twenty seven day. Yeah, yeah. You can, if, if, yeah, and if you or if you want to click on the history skill there. So Zoe got a thirteen. Yes. So while she's on the phone, I'm gonna start messily making French toast. <laughs> okay. Like and Bentley says, "I've got it. I've got it. You're doing a terrible job, John." Uh, Ryan, silly question. Yeah. Uh, when you roll the the dot, is it on the top or the bottom? Oh, is that a six? Yeah. yeah. So the, the dot goes on the bottom. So that's a nine. It looks so like it's a nine. nine. Okay. Question yeah. at all. <laughs> Sorry. So nine plus your history. Very you important any, question. Any history modifier. Uh, uh, Ralph rolled an 11. Okay. Okay. Um, so the highest was a 13, it sounds like. So yeah. with a 13, uh, with a 13, you know that there's, there's some sort of a weird spooky uh, tourist attraction that the um, that they've been guarding in Tunisia that squad nine has been guarding yeah it's a Star Wars uh, set <laughs> <laughs> right um, and and uh, if you guys talk about it at all Bentley 
uh, Bentley knows more about it. Wait, is that is that what it is? Like I just said that as a joke. What? Uh, is what 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 it is? In Tunisia, they have the you know uh, the the village where Luke Skywalker grew up. Right, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. No, never mind. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely not it. Okay. So I want to roll in knowledge history because you know I'd been around the Mediterranean as a seagull. Okay. Um, and just well there saying important things, just rail them with random stuff I knew about Tunisia. Okay. Yeah, uh, go ahead and go ahead and roll. Um, it's going to be a really high DC for you. Seven. <laughs> no, you don't know. It was kind of hot when I was there. There was a lot of fog. <laughs> yeah. People were real nice. I didn't stay too long. The food was yeah. great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Bentley says, did you guys uh, have you studied? Have any of you studied up on your your uh, Jericho squads? Well, you know, I haven't. I was watching movies with you all night. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, people who have been in this in the in in have worked for Jericho for a while. Um, squad nine are guarding. A strange building that's meant to be a sort of a hell on earth. Uh, it was built by a crazy person uh, to invite Satan uh, to come and live in it. Oh, <laughs> he was uh, he he was uh, in a way he was trying to buy his way into heaven by putting his soul in jeopardy. Uh, he was he was a crazy person, but a rich man. Uh, his name was Gregorius. So, I know I'm not supposed uh, to be hearing this, but that's really good, Ryan. So anyway, um, the Jericho Squad, as it existed before all of you, were asked to go there, and. Uh, put up a seal to, to stop any creatures from the gulfs from getting through. <clears throat> and Cassius was the only one of us that had any kind of knowledge of that sort of thing. We went there. Uh, we got all the way to the ninth level with no trouble. <clears throat> uh, Cassius looked at their portal and said it was all wrong he sent me out of the room and I heard screaming. Um, when it was all done, only Cassius was left alive and he said he fixed the portal. He, fi he, fixed, the, uh, he fixed the ward to keep the, a portal from opening. Uh, uh, he uh, he was very angry. He said that we shouldn't be, uh, the purpose of Jericho Squad was supposed to be to protect the Second Dominion from influence by the Fifth and other Dominions and other planes of existence. We were supposed to be doing that. And we're not supposed to, we, our purpose is not to go out and help people in the Fifth Dominion. He was very angry. Um, he, he quit soon after that. That was about four months ago. Um, uh, he, I, he left behind in his room and he pulls out this, this stone with a rune on it. He left this behind. I, it, it seems like one of the stones from the ward that's supposed to stop the creatures from getting through from the gulfs. If you go there, I think that you should take this with you. And I hope, uh, I know this is a lot to ask, um, but, uh, but I hope that, um, that sure you, that you, your knowledge of magic is enough that uh, if there is something wrong with it, that you can fix it. Can I use identify on it, on the stone? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Uh, if you cast it as a ritual, it won't use up one of your spell slots. Okay. Um, ah. So a ritual takes about 10 minutes. Um, but in that time, uh, you, as you look at it, you, you realize that this is a, a, a part of a larger, a, lar a larger circle of, of rune stones that are um, meant to, to keep out the uh, creatures from another plane. Well, no wonder there are creatures from another plane if we've got it and it's not there. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I was afraid something like that might happen, but he said that this wasn't necessary. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, indeed. Well, let's go. It sounded, could we overhear, did we get told about the phone call or the? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, do, do you... Yeah, you only hear my side of things, though. Yeah. You don't get to hear what Aldrian was saying to me. But did you, do you tell them? Uh, but did you tell us? Um, sure. I told you in there somewhere. Okay. okay. But before we leave, I do want to talk to Tressa. We okay. haven't talked to Tressa yet before we head on out because uh, Aldrian said that we needed to speak to her before before we went to rescue her. Okay. Well, with your with her locked in a closet, I think I'm gonna. We should get out of here pretty quick. So I'll just start getting everybody's stuff together. But by getting it together, I mean drag it into the middle room, into a yeah. big pile. With your beak. And uh, yeah, and and um, the French toast is ready at this point. But he has dragged the table away from the portal, uh, <laughs> the express, because the, the normally the kitchen table is right across yeah, the top right. of it. Um, but so you can still eat eat. Uh, you can still have waffles. Waffles. He's not, yeah, he made waffles this time. Waffles? Thought we had French toast. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> waffles? He says, you know, I tried that. Uh, I tried your recipe for, for French toast later, and it did not taste like you said. <clears throat> it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> well. So we're having waffles today. In that case, I'm going to pass on breakfast. Waffles mess with my digestion. I'm sorry to hear that. You did this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pouting. I might not eat them because I want a French toast. I'm kind of waffling on it. Uh, oh, God. Uh, okay. So uh, we're headed to Tunisia. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and he says, that you said you wanted to talk to, uh, to Tressa? Yeah, I, I was yep. told I was supposed to talk to Tressa for more information. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, also, he, he, I mean, he brings Bentley the... just... Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, but Bentley, I mean, you pretty much just told us everything that's going on in Tunisia. Is there anything I... in particular that we would need from Tressa? Uh, I can tell you that if, if you contact her, she's uh, not pleasant. Um, she blames Squad 77 for what happened. Uh, she lost her whole squad. Uh, they went in unarmed thinking that everything was fine. And it wasn't fine. And uh, they all died except for Tressa. Okay. I guess we can skip talking to her. We'll give her some time. We should probably bring her some waffles. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll, you'll see her soon enough. I'm going to shrug my wings and raise them and look around and be, uh oh, I'm unarmed too. Uh, she, <laughs> she, also, uh, she also may be expecting Cassius to come with you. I told her that that was a bad idea. We can fake it as long as she doesn't talk to him. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just... Just having a well, I, told her he, I told her he's not coming, so I'd, uh, you, oh, okay. know, you don't have to do that. It looks like nobody noticed that I'm still out of the the base, and I I'm not even here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And by the way, where <laughs> where's Drovo and Churduvier? I heard them leave early this morning, but I don't care where they went. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. And, and at this point, you've you've come back. Um, you, you're you're just pulling the motorcycle into the garage, and heading down the stairs. Okay. I'm gonna look at him. You went on a motorcycle ride without me. Uh, yes. So, 
Hi, guys. Good morning. And by the way, Jonathan, you can have my breakfast. I promised it to you. Already done. Okay. <laughs> um, me and Drovo, well, to make you guys understand, you know, a Rhythmic sword is, is kind of like, a, you know, it's imp it's a big deal for us. It's 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 not it's a ritual. We do rituals with it, all that stuff. So my brother, like you guys remember, he he his sword was taken away from him. And we just went back real quick to the barn that burned down yesterday. And uh, we met up with, uh, you know, a couple of guys who work for Bentley. Um, Musad, you remember those two guys, those two idiots who try to like, you know, rob us in the road when we're trying to get here. And uh, they actually found his sword. I found the sword and a bunch of other junk there. But uh, yeah, so we, we, we hid from a few Othaks that were around the barn and uh, we made it back. So what's what's new, guys? What's going on? We're going Bentley to Tunisia. Just... Can I can I see what you what you brought back? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, pancake and and uh, pancakes got the bag. You know. Uh, no, we have waffles, yeah. not pancakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The pancake and bustle have have the stuff. So uh, okay, well, I, I imagine that they're right behind you. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and you, rather, you did see I'd that they they pulled up also, but they are waiting upstairs. Yeah, and then I, I go to Drovo, and Drovo, you got your sword back, so you know. Yes. Yeah. So so what what's what's happening here? Yeah, what's going on with Tunisia, guys? What uh, what's going on? Did you did you get to talk to Tress? about that thing we were supposed to go to Africa at some point? Well, my cousin is currently missing. She got her whole squad killed. Oh, no. She did not get her whole squad killed. That's oh. not what I heard. That's terrible. Same old, same old, save the world. Wow. So, okay. Bentley. We don't have we're... the clear picture yet. OK, OK. <laughs> but your cousin is still alive, Aldrin? Yes. OK, yes, yes that's good, that's good. So wow, that's terrible. So Bentley, what can you, what can you tell me real quick about this Tunisia thing? Uh, well, it, it's a terrible place, and I'm offended. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, it's built to be a living hell on earth. Um, I think that uh, your friends can fill you in on everything else that I told you. I told okay. them, but. So they but, tell uh, me they tell me yeah, the stuff you know yeah. they bring me up to to yeah to base okay I was like holes of your your breakfast yeah I'm like <laughs> wow that that looks like a really terrible terrible place and you said this has become a tourist attraction uh, uh yes yeah so after um after after Gregorius disappeared uh the 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 people of tunisia tried to make it into a, some kind of tourist attraction huh uh i believe that there's a, a food court and a gift shop on the first level i mean but Wasn't that uh, full they, of like they, horrible vats and then traps all around so they guys they just okay not in the first level the first level is pretty much harmless it's mm. like a cathedral okay. but uh when the tours started uh, bad things started happening. Uh, the companies that ran the tours didn't really have a right to be in there. And, uh, and uh, the government took notice when people started to disappear. So then the, all of that shut down. Oh, boy, the fifth. It's all about the quick buck. That's, that's incredible. That's like, been my experience. No yeah. offense uh, to you from the Fifth Dominion, but so it looks like it's pretty pretty bad over there i mean did, did you said did your cousin tell you who she was fighting or bentley do you know anything about their mission uh well were they supposed to meet any resistance were they going there to check what like that portal thing well uh squad nine who are stationed there uh mm -hmm. were sent in to uh were, were asked to go in and investigate why people had been disappearing mm-hmm they went in. Uh, as far as I know, they either died or disappeared. Uh, Tressa can tell you more about that. I don't know. Mm. 
Um, but then, so she, she's she been begging for help from Jericho for a while, and a lot of squads didn't want to go, including us. We said no. And squad three really didn't have a good excuse for not going. I mean, they nothing ever happens in squad three. Right, because they, they're in the fugue, right? Yes, yeah, they're they're very they're very well protected. There's no there are no threats out there to the fugue, as far as we know, and so they they went. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think you know. So are we call, are we going to call Tress Tressa? Should we've should already I... called her? What's the quickest no. way we get her? And no. We called her. No. We... I think Musette talked to her cousin Aldrin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you'll have to take the express. It'll take you directly there through the Innovo. Yeah, because okay. we're about to run into Tressa. So we're just gonna speak to her in person. Okay. Well, Drovo, my brother, what what do you want to do? You were the one who was originally summoned to be part of the squad, but I, I don't know what you want to do. Do you wanna come with us? Do you wanna return to to the the the, the library? What do you want to do, Drovo? You know, I, I think it's in, this is interesting because in the, in the Boston Bowl, uh, when, when I was accepting this, I, I saw that in the Boston Bowl that actually I was going to die and that you were going to take my place. I didn't die, but I still believe that you're a better asset to this Jericho squad than I am. I, I, have, uh, I, I believe I need to stay behind here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it carefully investigate why I was kidnapped. If Cassius okay. Breyer was involved, uh, I, that needs to be handled very delicately. I I see the wisdom of that, um, but that would mean leaving you here behind with with Bentley. And you know what we saw in the Boston Bowl and what we talked about in the bike. Would you mind coming with us on this mission? Because I guess we could use all the help we have and you have your sword now. Make a persuasion check. Okay. Yeah, I'm still kind of iffy about letting my brother uh, hang here with Bentley after we saw yeah. him kill him. Uh, let's see. Like, yeah, persuasion. you should come with. I know this great dumpster on the, it's right on the beach. It's in between a falafel <laughs> place and the butcher shop. <laughs> It is amazing. My persuasion check is eleven. Okay, uh, he says. He says, "What is a dumpster?" <laughs> well, they keep all the best food. They just kind of dump it in there. Pretty sure that people in his order acts know what trash is. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know the word dumpster. Okay. Well, at least at least uh, Drovo doesn't. Okay, so I got eleven. That means what? I don't persuade him. Uh, he says, "I think that." It's better that I don't go. Okay. If you want, I can head back home if you're afraid. Well, um, you saw in the Boston Bowl that you were going to die and you didn't die. So I guess the future isn't set. And uh, But maybe it would be safer if you went back to the uh, Azor Dorexian, uh, to the Erethemic District, uh, Kesperit, and, and, and try to investigate more about what's going on there. I can check on your library. That's a good idea, I think. All right, yeah. um, I'm 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 interested in going. Let's let's do this. Let's get on the railroad. Okay, and uh, ride the train. Yeah, choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, Bentley has uh, rearranged the um, the tiles in the on the express. Uh, to point towards uh, the squad nine. He says, okay, everybody get on. If you want me to go, I'll go. I don't, I'm not excited about it. It was a terrible place. And I watched all of the former squad uh, die. And I'm not looking forward to that again. No offense. Mm. What, what do you think, guys? Should we bring Bentley along or... I mean, he's kind of needed here, I think. I think Bentley can do what Bentley does. Yeah, I think that's a good... We've got this. Well, I don't know. If Bentley's offering to come out with us, he might be 
feeling like he needs to come out with us. <laughs> well, you you I were concerned that. about about Drovo. Uh, if I'm not here, maybe that would solve your problem. Sure, why not? I mean, Drovo is going back to the Kesprit, but uh, yeah, you can tag along if you want. I mean, you certainly know more about what happened in the uh, the the structure, the the temple, the thing, the pyramid in the desert. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, and we can show him like we can get a tripe falafel and falafel, and then go look at the Star Wars city. Did you see, <laughs> did you see that? that well, was, I, I, I know what Star Wars is. But wait, who's gonna who's gonna open the portal on this side for us to come back when we need to come back? Oh, you can contact me and I'll set it up. But if you're with us, who's gonna do that here in in this in this building? Oh yeah. Glad you thought of that now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Well, I, I can I can set it to receive. Okay. Cool. And then and then they set it on they set the the um they set the destination over there. Ah, I see. Okay. All right. That oh, well, good. I can only set it to receive after you've gone, though. Right now, it's set to go to... Boy, this is a pickle. Okay. Well, well Bentley, we can call you if we need anything. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. You brought up a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you thought of that now. <laughs> Yeah, too many mimosas. I mean, there that. there are other ways to get back, but it would just take a long time. Sure. We can go through London headquarters. Yeah, and walk and uh, walk through one of the the passages. So, yeah. quick question, quick out of character question. So, Squad Nine, uh, Tressa, where are they? They're in Tunisia. Uh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So yeah, let's yeah. go in. They, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so um, you you gather around on the uh, on the on the transport on the express. Um, you remember from previous times that it's better if uh, if if you're the if uh, Musette sort of uh, makes the initial um, makes the initial charisma check. It's basically she she's. She's holding on to uh, to everybody's form for you while your bodies are sort of transformed into your Glyph. into your higher selves, and you're transported through the Innovo. And uh, so, if you hold hands, or uh, you know, for in Jonathan's case, he can like sit on somebody's shoulder. Yeah, come over here, bud. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, did you say do a charisma check? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, a charisma saving been... throw. Sorry. Not okay. a check. It's a saving throw. Saving. Th okay, so it's still a twenty. You. Uh. Yeah. Twenty sided die, and then you add the saving throw charisma part. Ah, oh, Jesus. Five. Oh. And my. Mm. The, okay. Wait. So the saving throws are on the left side of the character sheet, below the stats there, in the little box. Mm -hmm. You you probably have a have a proficiency in charisma, so it'll be a little higher. Or you can also roll inside uh, uh, D and D Beyond. And, and, yeah, and yeah, because you're you, because you're connected to everybody, you roll with uh, with advantage because everyone's helping you. So you get two rolls and you pick the highest one. Yeah. Oh wait, here we go. Because I have the talisman, it, does right? that help her roll? Okay, so. Wait. Oh, does it say that on there? What does the talisman say? Uh, my talisman, uh, pack, pack boon, pack of talisman. Whenever the wearer of your talisman falls on an ability check, they can add a d4 to the roll, potentially turning the roll into a success. Oh. And it can be used two times. And we've had a long rest, so therefore I have two full uses of it. Yeah, if you want to use that, you can. So you can roll a, a four-sided dice. And add that to the, yeah. And, and add that to your thing, because I have this talisman. Wow, good, uh, good catch. Okay. Well, so, on the roll 20, I did a seven. <laughs> oh, okay. So, did, so you, did you add the, the charisma saving throw on there? Uh, my charisma says plus two. Right, but, it, but it's probably plus four on the saving throw, right? 
I still don't understand at, what the saving throws. Okay, so throw there's is. the saving throws section on the left side of the character sheet. Yeah, underneath the strength, top. dexterity, and constitution, there's a little box that has strength, dexterity, constitution, and there's yeah. a character. Uh, yeah, the, so the saving charisma, throws charisma. are for are for avoiding bad things happening to you, and the yeah. checks are for trying to do cool stuff. So do you see the box that's underneath strength, dexterity, and constitution? There's a little box with six uh, other little things. Oh, saving throws. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you add the one that's con, or I mean, I'm sorry. CHA. CHA. Okay, yeah. so that's plus four. So that's uh, 11. And okay. then another, and then a four-sided? Well, and you roll it twice, right? And you pick the higher number and you add the four-sided to the highest one. Yeah, that's the advantage means you roll twice and then you get the highest one. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll do is, okay, let's, this, we're going to do it this way. Okay, so with my actual ones, since I'm a physical person. Okay, so okay. 15 plus the four is 19. Wow. Okay, well that's uh, that's really good. You managed to make it through the Inovo. You don't catch yep. the in, uh, the attention of any uh, Oviate creatures, or get stuck, or spend the rest of your life uh, wandering the wastes of the Inovo. Uh, you manage to uh, your bodies solidify uh, back into their physical selves, and you're uh, you're back in the and you're uh, you're immediately you feel that it's hot when you arrive. Oh, whoa. wow, it's stuffy in here. Uh, you see, um, you see a, a woman uh, wearing, she's wearing like a yellow t-shirt, but under the t-shirt, it looks like some kind of chainmail armor. Ooh. And uh, the t-shirt, the t-shirt says, uh, someone special went through hell to get me this t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy that t-shirt. Me too. <laughs> Uh, and and she says, oh, "Welcome, welcome, Squad Seventy Seven. Are you, you going you're... to uh, going to make things right this time? We're going to try. Uh, I'm I'm Chudavir. I'm Tressa Judd. I'm say Tressa Young. Mm -hmm. And these are the rest of Squad Seventy Seven. Uh, you got Zoe over there. You got Ralph down there. Uh, Musette." And the seagull chap over here is Jonathan. Interesting. Oh, well, nice to meet you all. Uh, and she she looks at uh, Zoe and says, "That's an interesting dagger you have. Uh, can you can you show that to me really quickly?" Well, it was my mother's, so you'll understand if I don't necessarily let you hold it, but you may look at it all you like. Yeah. That's um, and uh, she lifts up her shirt, and on her chainmail, she has the same the symbol of Aset or Isis on her uh, on her armor. She says, "I am a paladin of Aset." Oh, well, I was raised by the priestesses before they shipped me off to a foster home. Unfortunately, that did not work out very well for me. It worked out very well for the young gentleman that I brought back to life one day. But that's how everybody started chasing me and wanting to kill me. My goodness. Well, uh, my opinion of Squad 77 has gone up considerably. But I have to tell you, um, I'm, a little I'm a little surprised and shocked that you didn't bring Cassius Breyer here. I have some serious questions for him. Don't we all? Bentley told me that he quit and that there were um, <clears throat> some investigations into him. But I think that he needs to be brought to justice here. I, I have my own reservations about Cassius. I'm, uh, I'm a Rethemek from Zordorex, and uh, Cassius has been a, a political opponent of mine and my brother uh, for years. He, I think he might be connected to the Aboriginal children uh, which we have been at odds with throughout our mission. I was supposed, uh, my brother was supposed to be recruited by 77, but I ended up in his place. Uh, so I'm as interested in knowing and, and getting to take this Cassius to justice if he needs to, as you are, because I think he was the one who had my brother kidnapped. 
It sounds to me like you need to arrest him. Well, I don't know where he is, though. So. If he's a political opponent, he, his uh, whereabouts should be pretty easy to discover. Um, well, he's he's apparently no longer with Jericho Squad. So um, Bentley didn't know exactly how to get a hold of him. He can't just contact him? Um, well, through, the, guess, through the sending stones? I Yeah, I guess we could. We could try. Um, I'm has, he, sure has Bentley he, never talked to him? Did he... I asked him to contact Cassius well, and, and, and tell him to come here. Did he not do that? Well, um, I don't know what he did, but I did know that when I was having reservations about Cassius and I wanted to meet him, that Bentley called him, but, but Cassius refused to, he just maintained his innocence that he didn't know what was going on. And uh, we didn't get to have a meeting with him. So that didn't go through. And I was, you know, more concerned about recovering my brother at the time. So I didn't push for that. It sounds to me like you need to go to him. Hmm. I think so. Um, well, in be... any case, I know that that's not why you're here. And uh, you probably don't even know Cassius really and personally anyway. Well, I realize that you're all new recruits. Yes. And, and I think what's more pressing at hand is to find out what's going on with uh, Aldrin and rescue her, because I don't think the news were very good. And uh, you all hear a, a little cackly kind of a voice. It, say, it says, she's probably already dead. <laughs> oh. And, I, uh, I, and, uh, um, and Pressa rolls her eyes and says, you, that is our re resident yattering. Oh. That thing has been harassing me for four months. Is Can we see him? What, what's no, going he's on? In, unfortunately, he's invisible. Ugh, sounds like a, a real pain. I have to admit I've taken a couple of swipes at him, but I've never been able to hit him. Um. So can I do like a... Um, um, arcana check or something see if i can detect where he is uh, uh you i can think make i have a spell like that oh, okay is, you, is this yattering something we want to kill he says oh yeah good luck because i didn't get to eat breakfast <laughs> <laughs> would detect magic i like work? this guy yeah so because i got detect magic so, oh, okay. Well, that that that, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't uh, make him visible. Oh. Okay. So you you can make a perception check to try to get his general direction, and then if you attacked him, it would be at disadvantage. So you'd roll twice and take the lower number. So all I want to uh, how long does it last? I guess cast detect thoughts. Okay. And then. <clears throat> So that would be able to, I could send surface thoughts of the thing and kind of where he is. Um, uh, does it say detect thoughts of a creature that you can see? Uh, no, you can You also use a spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see yeah. specifically in the spell description. But what I was going to do is then I'll just ask, I wonder, ask loudly, I wonder where he is to see if I can get him to think about where he okay. is. And then... Um, I was going to uh, okay. sit on him to make him visible. Um, make, I guess make a persuasion check with that. It, well, it's kind of a trick. No, make it a deception check. That's probably, that's better. Ooh. Did not go very well. Eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He he, he says, uh, "Nice try." He says, "More grist for the mill. Just don't bring Tressa with you. I'll have nobody to talk to." Well, you can come with us. Talk all you oh, want. Oh, I plan to. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to eat you when I find you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. So what are its surface, surface thoughts, I guess, then? Uh, yeah. Are what you is, sure that it's not a creature that, that, uh, you, that you have to be able to see? Detecting the thoughts of a creature that you can see? Yeah, it specifically says in the spell you can use it to detect like the presence of creatures you can't see. So you can use it as like a sensory. Oh. Okay. So that's why I cast it um, both now, but it'll also be useful uh, as we go in, because you can kind of detect the presence of things, even through walls, as long as it's not, you know, an inch of lead or it, it outlines. Okay. Well, let me, I'll pull it up. Okay. But yes, it's a specifically outlined use of the spell is to detect okay. stuff you can't see. All right. Basically, it's magic sonar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or brain sonar, yeah. Yeah. So we're st wait. still trying to find the, the yattering? Well, no, 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 I can't I'm... wait for you to meet my big sisters. Uh. <laughs> um, what are, yeah, I guess, it's, okay. Probably no change in thir surface thoughts. Gosh, I can't say that. When he mentions the his sisters, does he like think of them at all? Uh, is there any kind of a role that he makes or, for that? So what happens is I initially I can learn surface thoughts of anybody within okay. thirty for the duration. Um, but yeah. then to probe deeper, there's a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> so it's just like, you know, literally surface thoughts. He really is nervous that everybody is going to die and that he won't have anyone to bother anymore. Hmm, that could be useful information. And um, and when he mentioned sisters, you see uh, two big shadowy uh, creatures. Um, they 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 look like almost incorporeal. Well, listen up, Yatter, and if you want them to live, I best uh, warn you that you should be kissing my butt because I'm the healer here. I'm the one that brings people back from the dead. So if you want to go on harassing these people, which you seem to take great enthusiasm and joy with, then uh, help us out here, won't you? If you all die, won't they just send another group? I ain't planning on dying, sugar. Well, no one plans on dying. No, we're we're squad 77. We're the last one. They sent 76 before us. I mean, they're scraping <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. No, that was that was also squad 77. Uh, good try, good try. <laughs> Even Trust I know it. that. Tressa, yeah. this is this is terrible. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this little imp of a thing. Um, that's that's got to be. You said you you've been dealing with this guy for what four years? Four, four months. Four months. <laughs> four, yeah. Just four months. Uh, it feels like four years, but uh, yeah, I could understand. Oh that. yeah, thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> well, uh, I I I would just ignore him for now. I would just try to get on with the. The mission and and i would just sounds like you got sounds like that's a you problem she glares at you i i you know i mean I, so your advice is to for me to just ignore him is this yattering like in our immediate presence uh make a perception check 20 sided yeah uh oh uh perception i got a 24 oh wow okay yeah. you uh you've got a pretty good idea that he's uh he's standing just about uh he's standing behind her on a shelf and by the way what you're in is a big old uh tent it looks like a kind of a yurt style tent can i roll something again uh it, it, yeah what do you want to do uh i want to use fake presence on him and charm him Okay, can you does it say a creature that you can see? Creature within can cause each creature in a ten foot cube 
to make a, with a, a saving throw or become charmed or frightened by you, your choice until the end of the next turn. So this is just the charm spell? Yeah. And it doesn't say a creature that you can see. Or can't. It doesn't say either or. Yeah, it's a cube, so it's an area effect. Oh, okay. And you just decide which creatures in the area that you want to charm. I want to charm the scattering. All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, make it. Uh, I guess that what, what's the uh, saving throw on that? Uh, DC 12. Okay. Um, wisdom? My wisdom would be. No, oh, is wait. it his? Is it a wisdom DC 12? Oh. Um, on the spell? Yes. Okay. All right. And I guess right. Oh, sorry. I'll let you finish. It, it, that worked. I mean, he, he failed. Oh. All right. So now he's my best friend. Yeah. He Does says, anybody want to talk to this guy? He says, I knew I liked you. <laughs> I like you too. So it's one round. Not, you're not really going to eat me. <laughs> no. Can you, can you, so where is this guy? Well, I still got the tech thoughts on. I'll just ask you so you think about it. I'm I, he's here. He's hanging out. We're cool. Oh. We're chill. We're going to go have brunch later. Okay. And, and that lasts for one round? It lasts for uh, the, it lasts the, till the end of your next turn. So, I mean, when you're not in combat, that's a, a turn is only six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you know, I assume it, I can kind of sense what's going on with the detect thoughts. And before it's, he's uncharmed, I want to shit on him again. So he's visible. That's fine. <laughs> Floating bird shit. That's a great, great tactic. tactic. <laughs> Please tell me okay. you had some ginger uh, before you decided so, to do So this. make an attack roll with disadvantage. And uh, you, so it's just a twenty-sided die plus your, um, your. Uh, what do you call that? For your proficiency bonus. <laughs> so I'm I'm good at going to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Proficient in that. Constitution check. Okay, I got a seventeen, and then uh, what else? What's your proficiency bonus? It's probably plus two. I think everybody yeah. has plus two. Yeah. 15. No, 16. 16. Those are pretty close. 17 and 16. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you hit him. Squawk. Okay, so you you see uh you see some seagull poop kind of floating in the air, uh outlining the, the shape of a of a right arm. Oh, it's showering oh, shit. Are you okay oh, there, buddy? Oh. And he starts shaking the arm. You see the arm shaking and the, the poop starts flinging off of it. And he starts I, I, hopping around. I'm not grabbing that. Okay. I'm, I'm not, gonna... I'm not touching that. He, he, need... he, starts, uh, he starts sort of uh, flying out the door. Uh, well, there goes my breakfast. Thanks, Jonathan. You owe me a cigarette. No, I've only got six left. Oh, you owe me a cigarette. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll, I'll see if I can catch him. Thank you. Somebody decided to make waffles. Are you really going to eat him, Ralph? Why not? Brissa oh. says, you know, I think that this, this little creature, while he is annoying, is sort of be a, beside the point of what we're trying to do here. <laughs> well, either way, I asked if you guys wanted to ask some questions. <laughs> well, at least now he's scared of us. All right, shall we? Uh, yeah, so she, she leads you out out of the tent and uh, you go um, you get into a, a sandy deserty area and you see immediately a gigantic black cathedral like it looks like a, a Catholic cathedral but it's all black with stained glass windows mm -hmm. and uh, so and there's a, a stone path leading from the tent uh, into the into the cathedral she says don't worry about the first floor there's nothing scary in in the in the in the first level very impressive. And so you, um, as you, and I'll share the screen again here. I think. 
There it is. Okay. Okay, I see it. So, Tressa, did you were you in contact with the the squad when they were inside? Do, do you know what we should expect in terms of enemies? Uh, uh, I think that uh, Aldrin talked about silver bullets. She says, "Oh God, thank you. I I completely forgot." And she says, "Come back inside, please. Uh, every, every one of you that has guns." Okay. Uh, and she says, "Buy a set. I can Okay. Uh, okay that, she pulls out a guns. bucket. And uh, and she says she says, put all of your your um, all of the bullets that are inside of your guns in here, and she gets out a, a looks like a, a crate or like a little homemade wooden box, and it's full of silver bullets, and she says load these into your guns. Okay, so I don't have any guns, so I don't do that. But uh... I would. I have two guns. These guns. <laughs> you fall over when you try to do that. <laughs> Squawk. Actually, I guess you could do that with your wings, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I was. Okay, not with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she says, thank you for reminding me. I can't believe I forgot that. Um. And so each each one of your your automatic pistols can hold uh, ten bullets. Um, you can load ten bullets in there. She says, "I'll bring the rest in a backpack," and she's got uh, thirty more in in a backpack. She says, "If you want me to go with you, I'm happy to do so." I Frankly, I would feel a little better after what happened with the previous Squad Seventy Seven. I'd like to see with my own eyes that this is taken care of. I I think we can take all the help we can get. Yes, please. And, and uh, okay, so then then after everybody's loaded their guns and stuff, uh, you hear the you hear the voice of the uh, imp or the uh, the um, yattering say, "So we're off then." I I just ignore him. I just yeah, says, I clean myself off. And by the way, I don't like you. And he looks at Jonathan. How do I know he looks at Jonathan? Or he says, he, well, <laughs> I can just feel <laughs> bird. I don't <laughs> like you bird. Okay. <laughs> you know, Yattering, it'd be a lot easier for us to communicate with you if you would just like stop being invisible. Just or throwing just that out there. It would be a lot easier for you to kill me if I were, would stop being invisible. We're having trust no, issues. Not work right. for us not to kill you if you weren't so annoying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I concur. Well, that's that's my nature. I'm I'm a yattering. Lead the way, Beyond love. So, are your sisters in there waiting for us? Oh yes, yes. They like to meet people one on one. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well, these big shadowy monsters that need silver bullets to kill can't be that scary, can they? And at least they're not. I don't know. I guess you'll have to fly in. You'll have to ask your uh, previous squad seventy-seven. Are your sisters into big burly guys with uh, scaly skin? I think they probably are. Would you like me to make you an introduction? Bring it on. All right, so you guys all uh, head into the cathedral. And uh, the, the dynamic lighting is on, so you'll need to move your... Oh, oh, and Rob, do we have a... Um, do we have a, a, a token for, for Tressa? Uh, uh, the nope. human, human paladin with a glaive. And I, yeah, I, I also, just moved myself just right inside. I also have a um, technical question. Is there a way to get rid of everybody's name, big name tile on the Roll20 map screen? No, that's the best we can do is just making it only the name and not having like the video and pictures and stuff. Wow. Uh, can I cast mage armor on myself? Uh, yeah. Okay, I cast mage armor. Let's see. 
Let me go to my spells. I think that puts your, your armor class at 14, right? I think so. I'm going to cast that. Can I get one of those? Yep, it's cast. You uh, you got another one where that came from? Uh, mage armor? Yeah. I mean, it only affects me, right? It's a spell. I, I think, think you can you can cast it on others too. Oh, okay, sure. Let's let's do that. But you you yeah. you have to hit cast again, so you'll use up another spell slot. Yeah. If you can afford if you can afford the juice, I wouldn't mind a little a little let's bit see. of that magic barrier if you're handing it out. Hmm. Okay. Why not? I mean, you're pretty important to be our air support, so I do cast uh, mage armor again. So I've taken up two of my four slots. Right. So, Rob, can I control the Tressa? Oh, there we go. Awesome. She says, well, everybody, welcome to hell. And it's, it's really strange. Uh, when you, when you look on the, uh, on the left, you see a little tiny makeshift sort of a food court. Uh, <laughs> it's dilapidated. You know, it, it looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Uh -huh. And uh, on the right, it looks like a confessional. Okay. Uh, um... And there's a door going out um, to the right of the altar uh, up ahead. I see it. I see it. So, so this is where the, the, the concession stands and the, the gift shop is. Yeah. She okay. says that's the gift shop over there. And she points at the, the door going out. That's where oh, I, I got see. this lovely t-shirt. What do you think? Are they on sale? Where it sort of as a, 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 for ironic purposes today. Mm. There we go. Thank you. Okay, well, I, um, you know, I, I, I would move towards the door, I guess. She says, I'm... the way down, uh, you you have to, um, there's one of the candle, this is hokey, I'm sorry, but you have to move one of the candelabras on the altar, and oh. the passage is in that pentagram there. Okay, so I can I move over hokey. there? I move over to the altar? And I beckon people to be like, okay, guys, let's let's do this. He says, keep in mind that uh, once we get, the danger is down below. And he says, oh, my sisters aren't dangerous. You'll love them. But you have to meet them one at a time. Mm. Well, so is there anything left in the snack bar? No, no, that's, that's, uh, that's well, uh, th that's been months since anything's been there. Oh, it's so all it's dried out and crusty. Can I check my surroundings and see if there's that. any any weapons or any items that might be of use to us before we go below? Uh, yeah, yeah. Make a. Do you want to investigate or do you just want to look around really quick? Um. Uh, yeah, I guess you know, I'll I'll just look around real quick. Okay. Yeah. Make a perception check. Sure thing. Perception check. Let's do that. I have rolled a. Four plus four, eight. Uh, nothing nothing that you can see. I mean, it, it, it looks like if there was anything valuable in here, it's probably been taken. Right. It seems right. like the rows of pews, there probably were, were more than one row at one point, but uh, mm -hmm. now there's just one. I mean, people have been, uh, most of the tables are missing their chairs. Um, and and Tressa notices you looking around and she says, we, we, uh, we did make use of some of this stuff in here for... Right. for uh, for our tent makes makes sense just got the clothes from the gift store so yeah uh okay i i'm ready is everybody ready did you guys load up your your guns with your silver bullets yes let's yep. go all right so okay. uh, which candelabra should i touch tressa uh she says the 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 one uh to the the one that's closest to the gift shop. Okay, so I do that. I'm standing right next to the altar, so I do that. Okay, and uh, the the pentagram sort of opens up, you know, like those those uh, passages in Alien, uh, mm -hmm. like a sort of a, a sphincter thing with the the teeth that sort of rotate inward, and like it, an it slides. Door. Yeah, it slides open, and there's a staircase going down. Cool. 
very uh, very symbolic. Uh, okay, I guess I I tell Tressa <laughs> you first. She says, "Okay, here we go." And and uh, she she steps in. Okay, I step in behind her. Okay. Is everybody else going in? Yep. I will. I will waddle in last. Following and in. Try to be as sneaky as possible. Fuck. And keep to the shadows. Okay. Ralph, does your right. hand feel anything? Can you? Does it? Does it? Does your hand feel anything that um, around here? My hand. Yeah, the 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 big hand thing and on your back. It's been kind of quiet. It's okay. been pretty quiet. I don't know why. You know what? Actually, it hasn't been bothering me lately. Cool. I guess I've just been focused on my freaking belly. <laughs> <laughs> he says, we may be in here for a while. Did you bring food? <laughs> I mean, I tried to. <laughs> I got food here. Okay. All right, here we uh, are. So when when you arrive in in the the second level here, you the first thing you notice right away is that it's really really hot, like hotter than outside. Right, because there's a lot of fires around. Yeah. Um, but still bearable, right? Still bearable for us. To well, uh, yeah. Um, actually, um, everybody make a Constitution saving throw. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Twenty five a day. Saving throw. I have rolled a two plus two four. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay. okay. I, uh, one. I got so a thirteen. Everybody that rolled uh, that rolled below a um, uh, below a twelve take a, a point of exhaustion. So oh, on the great. on Whoa. the on the uh, the right side of your character sheet, there's the conditions thing. And you open that up, and you and there's a, a an exhaustion button there, a toggle switch that you can do, and uh, you put in that. one point in it, and it tells you like what the effect of that is. So level one, right? Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty nasty. Hmm. It says here some special abilities and environmental hazards such as starvation and long-term effects of freezing or scorching temperatures can lead to exhaustion. It's measured in six levels. So I got level one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, level six is like you're dead. Okay. I have a disadvantage on ability checks. That's who, that's my point. Who all has this disadvantage? Um, I have nineteen. Okay, you're good. Everybody yeah. that rolled uh, below a twelve. So just showed a beer. And me. And you. Literally. Yeah. D did everybody I'm else fine. roll? I got seventeen. Okay. I got a thirteen. Okay. So okay. So he... you, you see that there are furnaces in the walls, there are furnaces in the floors, and there are strange, uh, strange um, uh, stone carvings in the walls. I I mop my forehead, sweat, and say, "This looks like a nice family uh, and ent entertainment." Yeah. Are we and anywhere the... closer to the stone with the rune? And at this point, you hear, uh, make a perception check, everybody. Okay, I have seven. Okay, anybody 14. else? I have a 22. Oh, wow. Zoe, oh. Zoe got a 19 and 22 for Ralph. Yep. 14. Oh, wait a second. I do have a dis uh, disadvantage. So do I need to roll my perception twice? Well, if you want to, yours was really bad already. And, and <laughs> so I would it pick the worse. and I would pick the worst one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. So um, everybody that got above a fifteen, you hear uh, pounding and yelling. Hey, it's like. What was that? Hey, hey, who's who's talking? Hey, where are you? Oh, yeah. I'm in the door. Open the door. But don't ever let it come in. Is that really somebody or is that the yattering? Yeah, that's... Did, did you say that out loud? 
That's what I'm asking out loud. Oh, okay. He says, oh, that's probably a ghost. Ghosts aren't real. Everyone's oh. dead in here. It might be all dream. Um, well, it looks was... like we got stood up by these two sisters. Yeah, I was just about to say, it might be a trap. Huh. <laughs> um... This party's weak. Come on. So this... what What door? Are these the doors here on the sides? These uh, lighter areas? Are those doors? Those do you want to look at one? Sure. Okay, which one do you want to look at? I'm looking at the one that I'm at right now. Okay. The second one on the left side down. Just a sec. Then I will take a look at this one. As I pant. Yeah. You got those feathers, man. They they keep you oh. hot. I'm I'm uh, consulting my my m the map maker here. Okay. There's a lot of doors here. There's a lot of like rooms to to plan out. Okay. Uh, so Jonathan, make a dexterity saving throw. Uh oh. Nineteen. Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, you manage to dodge out of the way as a jet of fire shoots out of a thing in the in the Jesus. in in the center of the statue. Oh man. Um. I found a trap. Don't worry. I disarmed it. <laughs> you disarmed it by <laughs> by jumping out of the way. Uh. I was going to try to open the door, but when I see that happen, I move to the side. Um, oh, the one I... that... Um, okay. And uh, so make a... Yours is not doing that, uh, Sure, Duvier. Make a uh, make an investigation check if you're looking around at that thing. Okay. Investigation check. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, investigation. I get a... Let's see. Okay. Ooh, 25. Wow. Okay. Uh, you notice right away that it seems like one of the panels is recessed a little bit, one of the uh, stone blocks, mm -hmm. and it seems like you could push in on that. And and Ralph, make a make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Twenty sided dice. Yeah. I told you. Uh, I got a twelve. Well, to with the, plus the dexterity saving throw part. Yeah. Yes, it's all it's all twelve. Okay. Um, but so if you fuck you, with me, I'm gonna use you my get, talisman. <laughs> you take three points of fire damage. Ooh. Ah. Okay, and well. um, and if you push on the button, uh, do you do you push on the the recessed the recessed block? Uh, a door swings open. Uh, Churduvir. All righty. Hey, you know, looks like we're uh, looks like we're cooking with fire here. Okay. So, so the door opens, and I'm like, "Hey, guys, this door is opening." There we go. Oh, what is? Oh, yeah, I I see Aldrin. Right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Aldrin is there, um, and she says, "Whatever you do." Uh, do not everyone come in here at once. This door only opens from the uh, from your side. Oh, okay. Is, is, is Musette here with you? I'm here. Okay. She sort of stumbles out. Uh, you can tell she's been in here for a long time, and she looks extremely exhausted. Join the club, sister. <laughs> uh... I, I, uh, okay, so, so I ask her, so what, what did you encounter over here? What, uh, what were you fighting? There are these two shadowy creatures. Um, I believe you've probably met the Yattering, uh, Nisqually Flume is his name. Unfortunately. I believe that you've met him. He, I'm sure he's told you all about them. Uh, but uh, what he didn't tell you is they will go after you if you're by yourself. If you group together, uh, you know, like 
lions or tigers or whatever they they'll mostly leave you alone no oh, cool that's really useful okay so nobody goes uh, alone anywhere i uh, unfortunately i when i i went i made it down to the third level um where the rest of the squad was killed and i ran back up these things chased me i fired at them with my guns and i hid in this door and they're afraid to come through the door under the doorway because they know that I have the guns, the gun with the silver bullets. Mm -hmm. We all have guns with silver bullets now. I mean, I don't, but everybody who has a gun has silver bullets. So I think well, we're that's covered. a that's a good start. I, you know, and I'm I'm afraid that uh, our group was a little bit unprepared. He says hello, uh, Tressa. Uh, hello, Musette. I'm so sorry that you had to come here. We were worried about you. I'm glad you're, you're okay. Are you taking good care of my liar? Yes. Um, hmm. Well, I, I'm sure that it will serve you well here. So, do you need any sort of healing? Are you are you hurt? This is uh, honestly, uh, now that you're here, if I could just go back upstairs and and uh, I need to rest. I need time. Okay. Okay, can you I not think... walk out that door? I can. Uh, I'd like to. And do it. Yeah. Okay. I... Okay, just do we need to get a group together, though, to help Aldrin get out? No. <laughs> no, because she just said, though, if she's by herself. Oh. But or the, if the, way out is, is, the way out is just right behind you, though. Oh, okay. So, I mean, right you're there. probably you're probably safe for her. Okay. She just, just has go to go upstairs. Up the stairs she to the altar upstairs. and then get out of the building. Okay. okay. All right. And and you do notice in the room with Aldrin, there are uh, some corpses. That's what I was uh, investigating. Yeah. In a couple minutes since my last meal. They, uh, they're, uh, they're pretty well rotted and dried out. Okay. All right, just a couple exploratory picks. I'm kind of tired. Um, okay. It's so, hot. has Aldrin left the room? Does the door close when she does? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she, so okay. she goes out and, and up the stairs and she says, good luck. Uh, contact me if you need anything. She says, oh, oh. Yes. Are you familiar with Dante's Inferno? Any of you? And I know some of you are not even from the the Fifth Dominion, but uh, am I knowledgeable about that from my library? I ate that uh, book once. Make a history check. <laughs> okay, history check for me. I got a six plus five eleven. Okay. Yeah, you, you you've heard the name before, but you never read it. Okay. I saw that movie. What's that? You saw that movie? That volcano, right? <laughs> that one with Pierce Brosnan? <laughs> he sang horribly in that. Okay. She I says, say, well, anyway. Uh, uh, no, no, not. She says, not Dante's Peak. Uh, what this is, the the, uh, the levels of, of, of hell are loosely based on Dante's Inferno. So we're on the second level right now. Uh, the level, the third level, uh, gluttony, is what got uh, the rest of my team. And she says, and, and I'm sorry to say, I don't know if you were, uh, if you were good friends with him, uh, but um, uh, Fiddler Krustoff from Squad uh, 42 in Midian is dead. He came with us. And along with the rest of my squad, but there, there is a there is a bog full of dead things, and a creature living in the bog. And that creature will grab you and pull you in, and eat you. And that's as far as I got. Does anyone know the Elvish word for Fred? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. 
Well, man, I wish I wasn't so hot. If there's going to be all these traps, it's going to be marginally inconvenient. <laughs> okay, so yeah, kind of put yourselves where you want to be, um, as far as like wandering down the uh, down the corridor. All right, I want to. I want to like kind of stop here and take a good look around. Well, first, um, Zoe, you, you uh, seem like the girl with the healing touch. Do um, you have anything that would make me less exhausted, especially if we're going to be dealing with traps? Uh, let me see. I think I do. Hang on. Because rolling at disadvantage to find and disable traps is going to might kill me. <laughs> Um, top the three teaching choice within <laughs> range. Well, I've got cure wounds, but you're not actually really no. wounded. I oh, have, Ralph is Ralph is a little wounded. I have protection I from good and evil. Um. It says creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. One you yelling think that's creature gonna help? you touch <laughs> is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elemental fey, fiends, and undead. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I also have bless. It says you bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number roll to the attack roll or saving throw. So, I mean, I don't have anything that can necessarily charge you up yet, since you're not actually wounded, per se. Mm. Mm. It says none of that stuff will help. All the gods are dead. All the heavens are empty. There's only the gulfs. Okay, well, I have five slots, so let's go ahead and uh, cast protection from good and evil on Jonathan. What, what's the duration on that? It says, uh, let's see, concentration up to 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, but constant, you can only have one concentration spell going. Exactly. Uh, I'm not sure I need that. Okay. Um, it's more of just having, because I get disadvantage on ability checks, if we're going to be doing, like, because I assumed I'm the one that's doing the traps, it seemed like I already found a couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to disarm traps with disadvantage is not going to be fun. <laughs> But I'll do it. We'll deal. Well, I have invisibility, too. Um, but it's another concentration one. Yeah, I've got invisibility, too. It's not... It's more... I was just worried about trying to disarm traps or hide or any other skill checks. But it seems I will just have to deal with this incessant heat. Um, and I and, guess uh, from here, I will... Tressa w walks up to... Uh, walks up to... Um, uh, Ralph and puts her hand on his shoulder and you get three points back. Thank you. Let me put that back on my D&D &D Beyond. Wait. Tressa, can you cool me off? You got like a, instead of cure wounds, cool wounds spell. <laughs> <laughs> Since you don't even have any wounds, let alone cool wounds. Oh, but I'm so hot, I can't do anything. So, if if I shoot Ray of Frost at the walls of the room, does it make the room colder? That one's a cantrip, isn't it? So it wouldn't even it waste your, your spell slots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But Boy. we're about to move, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead and give it a try. Uh, sure. I, I, I fire, I point it at the walls or the furnaces. I guess the furnaces okay. is better. And I, um, I, I shoot uh, 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 Ray of Frost. Okay, uh, make, an, uh, make an Arcana check with that. 
Oh, I rolled for the Ray of Frost. Should I give you the numbers? Oh, okay. That was for aiming at the... No, that's fine. You got an 18. I got an so, 18. So, yeah, you kind of you kind of gummed up one of the uh, yeah, furnaces yeah. with ice. And uh, and it's you can see that it's starting to sweat and melt a little bit, but it seems like it helped a little bit. You, you feel a little better. Oh, uh, if you okay. if you can sh you you think that if you can shoot more of these, then mm -hmm. maybe that uh, that exhausted feeling might go away. Okay, so I guess it's a cantrip. So I'd be like, hang on, guys, let me let me just try to make the room a little more comfortable, and I shoot another one. Do I need to do any other checks or just roll for the hit? Um. I mean, it's a cantrip, so we can stay here till you get. Yeah, you can just if, if yeah. you miss, you just keep doing it. So, um, sure. yeah, and and after a few minutes go by, of this the 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 room, this room that you you're in gets noticeably cooler, and okay. you can remove your point of exhaustion. Anybody that ah, has that. Nice. So there you go, buddy, Jonathan. This one's for you. If I could sweat, I'd be sweated out. Okay, let me go ahead and take that exha exhaustion back to zero. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, literally cool. Hey, Brant, do you want anything from Sunrise? Jennifer's going there. Um, sure, I'll just take a normal coffee. Wow, look at all those effects of the ice over the furnaces. Good job, Rob. Yeah. Looks amazing. Oh! All right. Yeah, and uh, gumming up those those ones that shoot fire out is is also a good you you figure is probably a good idea because then people can walk past them without getting scorched. Oh, now I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's Ralph. cold in here. I'm gonna go hang out by the fire. I forgot that uh, you're a cold-blooded uh, creature. So this is a hallway, right? Uh, just to make sure. So there's a. It keeps going, right? Yeah. So I don't think we need to try any of the doors around here, do we? And uh, Tressa us... says, "Tressa says, all right, everyone, please stick together. Okay. Remember what Aldrin said. Okay, sticking together. Oh, um." Did did anyone? I think Brandt was only investigating the corpses in that other room, right? Yeah, the room that yeah. Aldrin was in. I was poking around. I mean, I generally check general edibility in pockets because that's kind of my mo. Okay. In yeah, they, they're they're they just had rags. There was nothing. Okay. So did the door close on him, and I have to open it up to let him out? <laughs> um. No, I was doing yeah, that earlier. Yeah, well, and and also make make a perception check. Who, me? Uh, no, um, that's, um, Jonathan. Jonathan. Come on, roll, roll, roll. For, for stuff that was in the room. 14? There's also a box in here. Uh, kind of one of the, one of the corpses was kind of sitting on it. I got a 22, because I have keen sight. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, there is a box sitting, like, one of the corpses was sitting on it. Like, he a died box. in there. Huh. What does I'm gonna Jonathan the box for traps? Okay. Slowly. Jonathan, can you move back in there so then the, the lighting sure. should make it light up again? I uh, no, I cannot. Okay. Door's closed. Oh. Okay, Rob, can well, you make can you make it open again? I will push the brick. Okay. All right, I'll move over here and look the Okay. Huh. Okay. Big box. And I see there's a torch in there. Okay. Yeah. So the the uh the, yep, there's a box there. Um do you wanna do you wanna do anything with it, Jonathan? I was gonna look for traps. Okay. Um uh, make a uh make an investigation check. No, I'm not. Maybe somebody else wants to look for traps. Okay. And uh, Ralph, uh, stop where you are because you're getting attacked. Ah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know that. You wander off. What? Yeah, he How did. did he get there? Oh, no. Oh, you just kept on walking? Yeah. This <laughs> is like. He wanted a date. He wanted to get Okay, both. so. 
Or... So the the it's it's not trapped, but it is locked. Okay. Hang out by fire. Use my thieves tools to unlock it. I don't think I can do that. I think I gotta do a roll or Okay. Yeah, roll your thieves tools. Oh. Ralph, you wandered off by yourself? Sorry. You didn't yeah. all listen to what you were no, told. You, you gotta stay where you were at. Yeah. Go back. Come here. 18. 19? 18. 18. Okay, uh, yeah, you managed to unlock it, uh, and you found you found some uh, 50 gold pieces. I can't carry this. You guys, does anybody want money? I don't need money. I found some money. <laughs> You're hoping it was full of, like, old McDonald's cheeseburgers? Yeah, or something. <laughs> I don't need money. French toast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it's French to me. We are in Tunisia. So. so it's a treasure, huh? Yeah, so, I, Rob, I, I can I get know. access to those, uh, to the to the big sisters? It's just rocks. Just tiny metal stuff. I don't understand why you humans are so obsessed with this. I yell out, Ralph, where did oh, you yeah. go to? I. We got to stick together or yeah, the sisters yeah. will get you. It's okay. I'm here with the yattering. Okay, uh, so I guess we gather up and go towards the hallway and try to find Ralph. Yeah, and I'm now flying. I'm not. Okay. Stuck. Yeah. Hold on, though. Don't move yet, because okay. we got stuff happening there. Gotcha. Yeah, on Ralph's side. Yeah. Ralph. And I got I got to adjust the encounter because Aldrin left. Okay. Makes sense. Do, 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 do. It makes me uncheck every single character that's not in there. Uh huh. Okay, so. No fiddler, he's dead. No Bentley. Okay, I'm back uh, next shoulder to shoulder with Tress. I see Jonathan's there. Zoe's behind us. You said it's kind of like trying to get to Ralph. Yeah. I'm going to move to where Musette is. So, yeah, and Tressa says, wait a minute, where's Ralph? Yeah, I think he's he's gone up ahead, you know? I think I heard him say something like, hey. I told everyone to stay together. Yeah, I was trying to stay with him, but... Oh, you were? He, he... Did, so did you go with him? I didn't realize that he had moved yeah, ahead so quickly. <laughs> oh, okay. He not only has a rock on his back, he sometimes has rocks in his head. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> we gotta stick together. Let's, let's find Ralph. All right, everybody roll for initiative. initiative they want to take. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's initiative. I want to think. Initiative. Oh, Jesus. They really don't care. Um, <laughs> I don't care, apparently. I rolled a two. I care. Thanks. Is, it, is initiative on a saving throws? Oh, Jonathan got a 23. No, it's uh, it's right above your armor. or It's uh, right next to the left of your armor class. Oh, wait. Plus three. Okay, I have a whole five. Five. Five total? Yes. Wow. Okay. I have rolled 15. All so right. Two plus two. And I'm not seeing all of the ones that are popping up. So if you guys can tell me what you got. Four. I think four, rolling, guys? I think rolling on D&D Beyond is just pretty easy. It makes it much, much faster. And uh, yeah, Zoe got a four, you said? Yeah. Okay. And Ralph? What did you get? Initiative. My initiative? Yes. yes. Uh, where's initiative? It's right next to armor class. On yeah. the left of armor class. Uh, 22. Okay. Wow, I accidentally wrote minus 64 on there. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Uh, so make a um, make a perception check. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, buddy. I got. This is just just Rel. Oh, okay. Oh. I got. Um. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, you do not see the uh, the, the shadowy demon Ooh. that strikes out at you. Ooh. Yikes! How much damage do I take? Uh oh. Uh, so you at least it rolls with like advantage because it's hidden. Wow. Okay. So 24 to hit. So I'm sure that hits. And Brent, I got these little dice like you recommended that roll yeah. better. I, 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 yeah, I, I swear they do. Uh, so that's a uh, 12, uh, 12 damage. And you take another, that's so 12 slashing damage. And you take another um, 16 uh, psychic damage. Jesus. 16? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. This will teach you, learn you. Well, I'm out. So you're unconscious? Uh, yeah, I guess you said that. <laughs> OK. And uh, so Rob, where is the other one? I can only see the one that's in front of him. Yeah, because because uh, I got like twenty hit points, like wow. But the sisters are really okay, tough. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and seeing that one go down, um, the other one kind of just uh, continues to hide. Actually, Rob, I don't, I can't, con I can't control them. So, do we hear uh, the the sounds of battle? You should be able to. Are you on the shared screen? Uh, I'm no. I'm on the. I'm on the roll twenty. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, it was just I was on the wrong pointer. Okay, so the other one kind of moves off. All right. Uh, so yeah, you you hear uh, Ralph yell, and mm -hmm. uh, and that's all you hear. Okay, everybody, you know, let's stick together and 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 go towards Ralph. He's in trouble. I start running. Okay. I guess yeah, I'll I'll keep up with flying. I'm not okay. touching any wall, ceiling, or floor. Same here. Okay. Hey, we're leaving Zoe behind. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. So we catch up. Okay. I see Ralph. And Ralph is lying unconscious. Ah, darn it. Uh-oh. So uh, at this point, uh, Tressa says, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. Gee. He does laying on of hands. How many hit points are you down, Ralph? What's your total hit points? Um, David, you uh, you knocked me down to zero. Right, but what's your total? Oh, 23. Okay, so she can't do 23, but she can do 17. So she can oh, do wow. 17. Oh, wow. Hey, Ryan. Sure of yes. here. Oh, what's my that? God. He's in that a trap. I, yeah, I apparently got stopped oh, in front right. of the door, and I'm make like, a, ah! Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> okay, dexterity saving throw. Let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I've rolled a eight. Okay. Uh, so close, yeah. Too. So you take three fire damage. Ah. Okay. Let me add three damage. Okay. And so Ralph, you are you're up. You're conscious, and you have seventeen hit points. Hey, I'm fixing that. Okay, Sorry. and um, yeah, and you guys want to make sure that you avoid those. 
any ones that haven't been gummed up with Ray of Frost. So we're still sort of in combat order. So um, right now it's Jonathan's turn. Um, I guess I will just move. Oh. Oh. Is that where he fell? Yeah, that's about where he had fallen. Mm-hmm. He was right in front of the in that egg, that uh, hallway there. Yeah, to the right of Tress. Yeah, well, I'll just move up and um, use my movement and then hold my action to assist in any way I can. Oh, okay, to assist with healing uh, or, Ralph? You know, I, I have just nothing much to do right now. It doesn't seem like there's any bad guys. I'm just kind of checking his pulse. Okay. Tell everybody yeah, the obvious. Yeah, yeah, well, Ralph is... Uh, Ralph is up and back, and and uh, he looks hurt, and he's he's kind of holding his head a little bit. Oh, I missed that. Okay, one, two, what? three, and then I'll just hold my action. Okay. At the cast, uh, what is it? Mind dart. Should the opportunity present itself. Okay. All right. Uh, next is Tressa, and she says. We have to go together. And uh, she's she's going to stand here at the exit and, and uh, hold uh, hold action by swinging her weapon at, at anything that comes through the, the hallway. Mm-hmm. And next is Musette's turn. I'm just going to move up to getting closer to everybody. Better turn okay. Around. And then Ralph's turn. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm the weakest one here, so uh, I guess I'll move forward. How far can I move? Can I ask Ralph a question? Huh? Can I ask Ralph a question? Or are we still in like that? I have to wait for my turn. Uh, You can yell something out really quick. It's like, Ralph, did you see what hit you? It was... I didn't. It came out of nowhere and it knocked me clean out. Wow, okay. That doesn't happen. Got it. Uh, yeah, it might turn over. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, Chertovir. Yes. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, I'll I'll tell everybody, guys, don't get close to any of those uh, furnaces or doors because they might be trapped. Um, and I guess since I have mage armor on, I'm gonna I'm gonna move into the hallway. Is that sound coming through to you guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I, I look around into the other room, and I'm, I'm okay. standing right in, at the entrance of the other room. Make a perception check. Okay. Perception check. Oh, okay. I've rolled a 16. Okay, and there. Okay, you actually see... Let's see. You actually see both of them. They're on either side of the hall, kind of like what Tressa was doing, waiting to slash anybody that comes through. So are these like demons or are they like they're, statues? Yeah, they're they're shadowy figures. You see kind of beady red eyes. They have wings, they have uh, claws. They don't look exactly like the little figures there, but. Uh, like it's the sisters. Is my turn over, or do I still have any action to do? You, you have movement. You can do what? Yeah, you can. You uh, you can still do actions and bonus bonus actions. Okay. Um, and any movement that you have left over. Let's see. What can I do here? Um. From where I am, though, can I hit them if I send use a spell? Because I'm still like inside the hallway, and they're like right next to the wall, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can. You you can see them, so you can do it. Okay, um, I'm going to cast a. Uh, 
let's see, what can I do here? I'm going to cast uh, Booming Blade, and I'm going okay. to brandish my ribbon sword, and I'm going to make a melee attack uh, within uh, the one on the right. They're within five okay. feet of me. Uh, so I'm going to cast that. How do I wait? Wait a minute. What? I don't know why. How I can cast this? It, uh, it says at will. But how? Do, oh, how do I roll for it? You shouldn't need to roll. Then it happens. Yeah. So the, have... you're going to. Um, it, it, what? What is? What does it say that it does? So it says here. Um, on a hit, the target suffers the weapon's attack, normal effects, and then becomes see, sheathed in booming energy until the start of your next turn. If the target oh, really okay. moves five feet. So I'm going to roll for the, uh, attack. The, the attack. Okay. Okay. So my sword rolls for a 1d4, no, 1d8. Well, okay. first you got to do the attack roll. Okay, the attack roll. Before the damage, see if you actually hit him. So I, I hit the attack roll with my sword, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm rolling it, and I got, holy moly, a 21. Okay, yep, that hits. Yeah, so now I'm going to roll for 1d8 for damage. Yeah, plus three. Plus three. Let me get that little dice. Oh, I can roll for damage. Oh, wait, no, I have to roll it by hand. Yeah, not on that one. And just a reminder, um, you do have your blade singing. Right, right. And you can do um, you can do the you can start the blade song as a bonus action, so it doesn't even mess up your action. Oh yeah. yeah? Okay. Well, let me roll for damage here. One d eight. Okay. And I got seven plus three, so that's ten. Ten for damage. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start. Oh, oh, and I need to use the damage, uh, oh, so it's thunder damage that they get, right? If they move. Yeah. The booming blade. And now I can start my blade song, which is a spell. I have two more slots here. Um, where is that? It's un under your actions. You just scroll down. Oh, there it is. Okay. And I can scroll that, uh. Yep. Um, wait, wait, song. I've clicked one. So I get a plus three bonus to my AC. Uh, my yep. walking speed increases by 10 feet. I have advantage on acrobatics checks, and I gain a plus three bonus to any conservation, constitution saving throw I make to maintain when, my. When you're getting it for, for concentration. Okay, concentration. Yeah. Okay. It ends early if I'm incapacitated, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that, I did that yeah. once. Okay, yeah, and so you check off that box because I think you can do that two times per day, right? Or Yeah, there's two boxes here, so one of them's taken. Okay, all right, that's the end of Chertovir's turn. It's Zoe's turn. And so... you, you did a pretty good hit on it. You, you looked like you have a magical weapon, so that did normal damage to it. Okay. Okay, so is Ralph still kind of oogie right now? I'm always oogie. Some... Well, I know that, but um, because I do have uh, pure wounds, which means it says creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Oh. And so since you're not dead, it seems like... Uh, I, I, I'm at a 17 out of 20, 23. I wouldn't waste them. Well, I'll, the only other thing I have that that might help you out would be spare the dying, but you're not dead yet, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's that's like when you're unconscious. I think it stops you from having to make death saving throws. It puts them at like one hit point. So that's what I had wanted to do, or I mean, if we're getting kind of fighty. Um. Let me, let me look at my map real quick. Um. Work, but... See, I'd have to get in the hallway in order to use this one spell I have. Do I have to get out of the way? No, I mean, I can... Regardless, 
you know, wherever I start from, my my mm -hmm. range of motion, I'm just gonna only be able to get like one step inside the hallway, regardless. Sure. Um. So yeah, each one of those squares is five feet. Because I can. Because I can I can get Ralph healed up, and that'll. Because all I have to do is just go over there and touch him with this. Okay. Kind of like what he got before when when he got some points back. I think that's what I will do. So I just go ahead and click on cast. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is nothing happening? Hello. Okay. Yeah, and then you just roll the how much you heal. So I click on effect. Because I clicked on cast. Uh, yeah, so click on cast just makes it take up the spell slot. Okay, and then I click on the effect where it says 1d8 plus 6. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that should make it roll. There we go. There it goes. 10. All right, looks like so, uh, so Ralph, you get 10 hit points back. I can't go above 23, though. All right, right no. yeah, so you, you just go up to... You got your six hit points. Mm, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Now I go over Take care of them points, youngin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the popular line I've ever heard. Zoe's our paladin. You take care of those hit points. <laughs> Don't screw up my hard work. <laughs> All right, so that uh, that ends. Does that end your turn? Is there anything else, bonus action or any other uh, movement you want to do? I had to. Okay. Oh. Good so thing you missed it, that, it, that fire trap. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And now it's uh, Jonathan's turn. Good. That's what matters. Yep. So it's Jonathan's turn? Oh, sorry. Yep. I missed that Jennifer came down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I am going to move into the room while well, squawking loudly as I cast Minor Illusion. How many was that? I have 10 squares. Squawk. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I get a couple more. Um, and I'll just move into the middle of the room and I'll move past them. You know, I'm kind of flying at shoulder height move past okay. them, and as they get their attacks of opportunity, I'm going to do a dodge. Okay. Dog's barking. I'll let them get their attacks out of the way. All right. Or, and then maybe to let Rob get prepared, I'm going to cast um, Minor Illusion, but kind of on myself, and I'm going to split off this way, and the Minor Illusions of me, it's an identical copy of me, is going to split off over here. Okay. So I'm basically making an illusory double. So does the dodge action make it a disadvantage? Uh, yeah. Okay. But I think only one, only the first one, because I can only do it once. Reaction. Okay. Hmm. Right. So 19 to hit. Ouch. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Huh? I can't I can't take that much damage. Uh you take ten damage. Okay, I can take that much. You get, one of them makes a big gash at you with its claw as you fly by. Jonathan Actually that was just the disadvantage one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, the other one also gets a nineteen. Okay. Jesus. Okay, so uh, nine damage. Okay, I'm still up, but I'm not well. That did not go as well as I thought it was going to. 
<laughs> Are the furnaces in the room gonna make it really hot for us? It's the, you're starting to feel it. Okay. We're well, I'm assuming the... it's getting hot, hotter, right? Because we go lower and lower and lower. Yeah, <clears throat> but we're in a sort of slow motion combat mode right now. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not you're not getting to the point of exhaustion yet, but you, you are starting to feel that it's getting hotter. Okay, it's Tressa's turn. She says, "Oh, it looks like they're not coming down here." All right, and she. Uh, that's She casts protection from good and evil on herself. And she charges up there. And goes to here. Or actually to here. Okay. Hopefully that's a... Oh, that's an action. Protection from good and evil is an action. Dang it. But she's staying in their melee range. I think she only gets an attack of opportunity if she goes out of it, right? Okay, okay and uh, she's going to bonus action Hunter's Mark. Uh, the one that, uh, on, the one on the right that uh, he already attacked. Where did this music come from? The like trailer park music. Mm -hmm. Fireflies out there. It's the souls of the damned. Yeah. yeah. yeah who knew? It was just going to be a big hillbilly party. Nobody's got any teeth mm -hmm. in hell. And all there is to eat is hard crackers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She was on the porch playing in your banjo with nothing to do for all eternity. Wow, Kentucky right. is hell. With a room full of uh, stepdaughters and booty shorts. Yeah, and it's, it's too hot. <laughs> all right. Hell is, hell is Tennessee. Hell is what he wanted, and hell is what he got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's her turn. Uh, Rob, can you put a hunter's mark on that guy, or did you do that already? Which one? Uh, the one on the right, the shadow demon on the right. Musette is is uh, Musette's turn, and Ralph will be after that. Okay. Uh, I've been trying to plan what to do, but I'm kind of having a hard time because my movement is going to just like stick me right by those people, mm. or by those uh, whatever those guys are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can't sisters. really attack. Yeah, I can't really attack through Chodavir. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I don't really know what I should do. Shoot. So, if yeah. anyone has any suggestions. Oh, no, shoot. Yeah, I need to get out of the way. No, um, wait, I can just get behind Chodavir and then. Um, shoot over my shoulder? Do, yeah, no, I can uh, cast a healing word on Jonathan, since he's not faring too well currently. Is that correct? Yeah, but you probably don't know which one's me. Ah! So... Are I both of them, that. like, limping? Are both of them, They're like... They're pretty identical. They've all got the bedraggled feathers and the... Gotcha. ...blood. So you're thinking like healing word, the one that you can do without uh, touching them? Yeah. Yeah. You could uh, roll. I mean, you could just roll and see if you if you get the right one, yeah. or you could wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me do that. Oops. I'm 
I'm doing that thing again where I try to, okay, so one, two, three, four, there we go. And then I'm going to try healing word. Okay. Let's just flip a coin. <laughs> so yeah, one, if you roll a six sided die, one through three will be Jonathan and four, okay. five and six will be the, the duplicate. Okay. So wait, six sided die and then just once. Yep, one, two, and three will be Jonathan, and four, five, and one. six is the duplicate. Yay. Uh, one. All right. Okay. So you heal Jonathan. Is that like one d four? It says regain two d four plus two hit points. Oh, oh wow! That's, that's not bad. Okay, so you roll the two d four. Okay. So two plus two plus what? What did I say? Uh, plus two, so six. All right. Total. Back Jonathan up, gets six I... back. Oh, there's hit points. There, now it's public. Okay. Didn't know how to do that. I'm sitting here still writing it with a pencil like it's 1994. <laughs> All right, wreck it, Ralph. A uh, question for the dungeon master. Mm -hmm. um, am I able to use Fey Presence or Fey Presence? Um, um, what does that what, what does that do again? It's um, once per short rest, mm -hmm. I'm able to uh, the creatures uh, within ten feet of me. I can cause fear or uh, or a charm them, and I did it already with the Adderine when we first met. Oh, but I don't know if. We oh, I see. The rest yet? No, no, yeah, yep. Getting okay. knocked unconscious isn't a isn't a short okay. rest. That's fine. Well, fuck it. Then I am screwed. How many moves can I make? I mean, how, far, how far ahead can I go? Six, um, right? Yeah, and you can go through uh, your friend's squares. You just can't stop him. Okay. In there. I'm going. And they've already used their reactions, so they can't uh, swipe at you. Oh, they can't? Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Ah. Well, then I'm gonna go ahead and dash all the way up here by the fire. Okay. And then. Mm -hmm. ah. Well, I guess yeah. Letting everybody move around was not a bad. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> yeah, and you, this you guy took, right here. You took I'm the damage for with. everybody. I, mean, I, was, yeah, I was trying to distract them anyway, so <laughs> I guess it worked. I just didn't expect mm -hmm. it to hurt so much. I'm gonna blast this guy with uh, Elder's blast. All right, uh, the the one on the right. Yeah, this guy right here. Okay, and did you say you moved back farther? Or you want to be because you, you're in their range; they can attack you from there. Down further back. Okay. Uh, okay. Twenty okay. guys. Uh, yep, yep. Roll the seven. Eleven. Okay, yeah, that uh, that misses. That sucks. <laughs> okay, but you didn't get hurt. Yeah, I was gonna say not as, not as much as my turn. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't do anything else after that. All right. Okay. Bonus action: two weapon fighting. This one. Let's see here. I'm trying to find the handle. It's going to turn around and attack Tressa. He just took thunder damage for moving. Oh, oh, for moving? Yeah. Hey. Well, it just turned. It just turned to face her. It didn't. It didn't like move out of the square. Oh, okay. I thought you moved him. I just. I did just so I could find the handle because it was on top of Tressa. Okay. 
it doesn't know about the thunder damage thing, but it's um, but it really just wants to hurt her right now. It's turning around to hit her. And I think, let's see, she's got protection from good and evil, so I have to read what that does. Okay, he has disadvantage on an attack roll. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to... Uh... Oh, natural one. It's got a roll on the chart. <laughs> Not the chart! The chart. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of charts. Okay, for critical failures. Here we go. Fifty-three. Okay, uh, so he overextends himself so much that uh, that Cressa gets an attack of opportunity against him. And she's going to swing her glaive at him. That's it. 10, what, 16 to hit, so that hits. And she does. Twelve damage to him. Not bad for not even being her turn. Okay, so that's that one. The other one. Really sticking it to that one. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. It's going after Ralph. Um, so I'm sure that hits 16 plus 5. 21 damage. So weird, it goes from Vault of Terror to this hillbilly song. <laughs> okay. He hit, he attacked me. Your action. Yeah, he attacked, he, and he hit you. So I just have to roll the damage. I it's not hidden anymore, so it doesn't get all that extra dam psychic damage. It's just regular attack this time. Okay. Do I get an opportunity attack for a reaction? Uh, no. Well, you you can do re you can do reactions, but not attack of opportunity. So that's six. If you have any reactions that help with this, uh, so that's you. you take nine nine slashing damage. <clears throat> so I can't I can't do. It. Yeah, if you have any reactions that are, you know, that help if you're getting attacked. I have Hellish Rebuke and Opportunity Attack. Yeah, you can do Hellish Rebuke if you want to. I would like to fucking do Hellish Rebuke. Okay, uh, and that does fire damage, I believe, right? Will that do anything to this game? You, uh, you don't know. Okay, well, who do I roll? Um, you gotta read the Hellish Rebuke. I can't remember what the damage is on that. Does and having the Befame a... hand on him help in any way about this? Well, it's without it, he's a regular lizard man with no magical powers. Dexterity mm. yeah. saving throw or 2d10 fire damage. Okay. Half on a successful save. All right. Yeah. He got a natural one on the, he failed the saving throw. Ooh. Okay, so go ahead and roll the fire damage. That's the uh, 2d10? Yes, yeah. sir. Wow, that's a lot. As it just like spurts, yeah, through the grate, just... I rolled an 8. Okay. And All right. So, so I'll, uh, so it takes not quite as much damage as you would think, but it does get hurt by it. Did you roll both d10s? I just rolled one. It's two D ten. Yeah. Then I rolled an eleven. 
Wait, you rolled a one. You rolled an eight and an eleven. Yeah, eleven. Total. Oh, eleven total. Okay. Well, no, I rolled an eight, and then I rolled. An 11. Then, then a three after that. What? You rolled two ten-sided dice. What's the total of all that? Oh, it's uh, 18, uh, 19. 19? Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. So that was a great attack. Good job. All right. So that was a reaction hellish rebuke, which I think you can only do once per long rest, right? Uh, I... Or, yeah. It Think doesn't so. say. Turtovir is going to be next. And then Zoe after that. The yattering is very, very quiet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess he doesn't DM's... have any funny quips right now. The DM's trying to concentrate on what's going on. So the yattering forgot to talk. He might just be watching. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily want anybody to know where I was with these things around. Are these not his sisters? He calls them that. Oh. So... Is it my turn now? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So, uh, my speed has been increased by 10 feet. So I'm going to move into the room and I'm going to move on the actual D20, not this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four. So I'm going to move over here and I am going to attack that uh, that one of the sisters who's there on top of that fire. Okay. I'm going to let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm going to do um, a booming blade again at okay. them. So Alright, yeah, gonna... the other one still has the booming blade effect on it, but this one doesn't yet. Yeah. So booming blade is a, a, a cantrip, so I guess I can go ahead and uh, do that. So I'm rolling 20 for the attack. Yep. And I got 14. Uh, 14 on the dice. Um, so wait a minute. It's 14 plus what? Plus 5. No, wait. Booming Blade doesn't have any uh, modifier. You're, you're looking at your weapon, so it should say plus 6 on there. Oh, right you are. Okay. So I rolled 14. Uh, Plus 6 is 20, right? 20, yes, yes. So that okay. hits, right? Yeah, it definitely hits. And uh, let's see, 1d8 for the damage. Plus 3. Plus 3. That would be 5 plus 3, 8. Okay. Okay. It's 8 so, damage. All right, 8 damage. And they're also, they can't move because otherwise they'll get thunder damage. Yeah. Well, that right. only lasts one round. So it it, re it oh, okay. lasts one round? Yeah, until your next turn. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not to be that guy. You don't need. Oh, that until the end of of Chertovir's next turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so the so it's already off of the other one because you did that oh, last round. Yeah. Start of the next turn, so it's basically yeah. just the next round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Right. So okay. the one on the right doesn't have the thunder damage anymore. Yeah. As soon as your turn is over. Yeah. But you can do and it every turn, so... Yeah, is there any... Oh, that was probably a bonus action, right? The uh, spell. Or no, oh, that's I at also, will. I also have that blade song thing, so I do gain a plus three bonus to my AC, and right. I have, okay, advantage on acrobatics, so that's pretty much it. Okay, Yeah. so that so, doesn't yeah, affect this. You just have this. to remember, because your, your armor class is 14 because of the... Um, because of the... This armor, the spell you did. The blade song, yeah, plus three. 
So that's 17. Mm -hmm. I thought my armor class was plus, uh, 12. It, it was 12, but it went up to 14 because of the spell. Was mage it armor. a plus two? Yeah, mage oh, armor. Mage, mage armor. armor right. Mage armor just makes your armor class 14. Got it. And then so plus three you, from Blade Song. Yeah, if your 17. armor class is better than 14, you never want to cast mage armor. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. Awesome. But your Blade Song does stack. If I understand. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It, that's it's, good. It's okay. Awesome. Zoe's turn. Okay. So. One, two, three, five. Now, let me do. Okay, I want to do guiding bolt. Okay. Ah, you got both of the enemies are at point blank range. Yeah, I'm going to do the one on the right because it's for okay. one. All right, roll the hit. Twenty-one. Well, that definitely hits. Woo! Okay, roll your damage. Is damage. That, uh, is, yes. guiding bolt, is guiding bolt radiant damage? Guiding bolt. I think, I think it is. Uh, where would it say that? I don't see anything. This is radiant. Uh, it's on the spell description. I'm looking at the spell description. Let me see. Cast time one action. I do not see the word radiant. I see damage and buff. If that helps. Oh, there's a little symbol next to the damage. Next to the damage. Well, and, and it would it's also like be radiant. It's like this little, it kind of looks like a little compass, sort of. It's radiant damage. Okay, then it's radiant damage. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, roll your damage. Okay. Damage is. That's like 46, right? Uh-huh. Nine. Okay. Does, uh, does that mean there's going to be a radius of damage for NPCs in there? No. Ra radiant means it's like light damage like the sun. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but uh, so you... The amount of damage that you think it should be doing, it actually doubles. I mean, it just blows a big chunk out of this thing. So you get okay. the impression that... Uh, Radiant type damage uh, it does extra to these guys. It's it uh, screeches, and it's also glowing. So the next person that attacks it, it has advantage on their attack roll. Way to go, Zoe Mace! Don't you pick on my child now? And, and Tressa says, I like you. <laughs> oh, that's that, that. So that barking is from the song. The Hounds of Hell. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, could be. The, the trailer park Hounds of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> and Zoe, you're still try carrying that. One. You're still carrying that little jar with ashes inside, right? These powdered ashes? Am I still carrying them? Well, I don't know if you left it. You could have left it at home, too. Okay. Because I, I thought they were gross. <laughs> could have been useful against invisible things. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, and give everybody else an allergy attack. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yep, yeah, that was Zoe's turn. We're at the start of round three with Jonathan. All right. Um, I will have, I will kind of stay over here and then have the illusion kind of swoop through. Okay. And try to, I think, and then I, um, I guess I want to like try to distract this one and do the okay. help action to give the next person advantage on their attack. Okay, and uh, that thing uses its attack of opportunity against the illusion. Okay. Uh, it rolls a 10, so would, that wouldn't even hit your armor class. 
No. No, I think your illusion sort of dodged out of the way of the attack. Okay. And it is turned around to face uh, fake Jonathan. Yeah, and I guess I'll just kind of fly around while this is happening. Okay. Try to be a distraction, because that's all I can really do. That took my action, so I am done. Uh, Tressa is next, and seeing that she has advantage to hit this thing, she's going to hit it as hard as she can uh, with a smite. She's going to do a wrathful smite. Bye-bye. What kind of damage that is. I think it can be radiant or necrotic, depending on what kind of paladin you are. She's a vengeance. Huh. That growling oh, is... Oh, it says psychic. It's psychic damage. Huh. All right. Okay, so anyway, she's going to roll to hit with advantage because of the, uh, the attack that uh, Zoe did. So she got a 14 plus... So 20 to hit, that totally hits. And D10 and an extra D6 damage. So 7 and another wave. 11 damage plus 4. So that's um, 15. Bam! Okay, and I think that that spell might... What is that weird sound? Why? What is the deal with these... What are these snoring in there? Sorry, Jonathan hasn't eaten in a while. It's just his stomach. <laughs> well, the spell casting, I got such a high metabolism. Okay, it has to make a wisdom saving throw. I thought the snarling was just like the hounds of hell echoing through the chambers. It was, but then it started to sound like snoring after a while. (laughs) So 15, so they are not afraid of her. Okay, uh, but it's hurt really badly. Uh, And now it's Musette's turn. And Ralph will be next after Musette. Oh. The one in front of me is hurt really badly? Uh, the other one. The one in oh, front of uh, Tressa and Zoe. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, I'm... Is... Uh, which one is the more injured one? The the one in, in front of Tressa and Zoe on the right. This yeah. one? Okay. So, one, two. For some weird reason, I can't see my thing turning around. So. Oh, okay. Well, and you're standing on top of Tressa. Oh, shoot. Am I? Oh, yeah. wait. There's. Okay. Sorry. I thought she was over. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. No, you're standing on somebody else. Who the? Well, where? Where can I go <laughs> oh, then? No, I take it back. No. You were not standing on somebody else. I, I okay. Was <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Might have been standing on top of the yattering. Right? Yeah. For a second, I thought you were either. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. There's always that possibility. There's always that possibility. Okay. Well, um... He says, stop, don't hurt my sisters. Okay, so I will... And it stinks. Everyone is so squished. Okay, so I'm going to have to make... Uh, if I do wind wall, will that injure Zoe or... Uh, uh, what's her name? If you, put, if you put it in their space. Okay, so it can only be concentrated in the one, the one space. 
kind of a small area for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where did you want to put it? Just just the one space where the uh, the thing is. Yeah, you may want to save that. Save it. He's almost dead. Just shoot him. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Thank you. Okay. With the silver bullets. Yep. So we're gonna just shoot him. So what do I do? I roll. Roll to, to hit on your with your gun. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Is that the total? And with then your, what do I add? The, the to hit bonus on your gun. Hit DC. Hit slash DC on there. Oh, uh, plus four, so f fifteen total. That hits. Okay, and then the damage is 2d6 plus 2, so wow, 6 plus uh, 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Okay, uh, yeah, you blow its arm off, uh, but it's still, it's, it's still standing there kind of going... <laughs> it's but a flesh wound. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and then next is Ralph's turn. Or did you oh. want to do any bonus action stuff, or is that it for Zoe, for movement? All right. Or is that it for uh, Musette, I mean? That's it. OK. OK. Um, OK, which one of these is hurt worse? Uh, oh, definitely the one that, uh, that Musette just shot. Okay. The one on the right with the red dot on it. And this guy with on top of the fire? That one is hurt a little bit, but not nearly like this one. All right, well, then I'm going to come over here next to Shodavir and kick it. And I'm just going to hit this guy with another uh, um, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, if you step back another space, it won't be able to reach you. Get advantage because I distracted it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you have advantage, so you can roll twice and take the higher number for the attack. Okay. So twenty sided. Yep. First rolls a fourteen. Second rolls a thirteen. So. Okay. So fourteen plus something. Uh. On your uh, Eldritch Blast. Sorry. Spells. Fourteen plus four, so eighteen. All right, that, that totally hits. Cool. What's your damage? What's my damage? No, yeah, how much damage, damage is your attack? <gasps> On your Eldritch Pass. Oh. <gasps> it's like 1d10. Oh, it says uh, 1d10 plus 2. All right, so roll a 10-sided die and add 2. Say what? Roll, roll a 10-sided die, add 2. Did you say 12? Yes. 12. Oh, I didn't hear the 12. Okay. Okay. That's a big old, uh, big old hit. You're softening him up for me. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> and now it is their turn. Someone needs to shut these bitches down. Oh, yeah. man. I'm right in front of them. <sighs> well, and this one is kind of mad at Ralph for shooting it so hard. Okay. So it's going to go up here. And moving makes it take thunder damage, right? Uh-huh. Yep. And I can uh, give you a little bit more on that. Uh, yeah, how much does it take? All right. So that takes... Um, ba -ba -ba. 28. Um, I'm sorry. Um, it's one, a D8. Um, yeah. 1d8 thunder damage. That's right. So okay. do I roll? Yeah. Okay. I am rolling a d8. Eight. Okay. Uh, eight damage. Does it explode? Please let it explode. Nope, it's not dead. No. Okay. Uh, but um, and it attacks Ralph. It rolled a uh, seventeen to hit. Does that hit? What's your armor class? Me? Yeah, for Ralph. Oh, uh, my armor class is a fourteen. 
Okay, that totally hits. Nice. Wait, no, not, that's oh, not nice. nice. <laughs> that's not nice, no. I also have mage armor. Oh, is it on, though, right now? Are you using it? Actually, mage armor makes your armor class 14. Oh. I think it's the same with or without it. Oh. So you got uh, eight. You take eight damage. Oh, I'm unconscious again. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, all right. Damn it, youngin. And it turns towards uh, Churdovir. All right. So, yes, of course, I'm going to attack. Well, it's um, just turning towards you. It's not your turn. Oh, okay. It's, the other it's one uh, still has an attack. And it's got three people attacking it right now. And it is in really bad shape, missing an arm. It's going to try to get out of here. It's called a beatdown. <laughs> it's going to take the disengage action. Coward. So it's. Uh, Is that effect on it the hunter's mark? And it's going to bonus action hide. Okay. Yeah, that's hunter's mark. Oh, yeah, I forgot that she actually does an extra d6 with the hunter's mark. That guy's dead. I forgot to add the hunter's mark damage. Okay, so just disregard all the stuff that yeah, happened. Yeah, that one, that one died right there. Okay. Okay, so now it is Chirdovir's turn. All right. I'm going to throw chromatic... Um, let's see. Um, bu- 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 yes, chromatic orb. Thank you. I'm and so going to cast next. that. So I have cast three spell slots. And I will roll for the hit chromatic orb. Jesus Christ. Seven plus five, 12. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that misses. Ah, okay. Splashes up against the wall and uh, almost uh, scolds, almost scolds uh, fake Jonathan. Okay. Hey, so that- almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and thermonuclear war, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Illusions. Like it's <laughs> Would you like to play a game? So that's it for my turn. Okay. Uh, Zoe. Okay, Open well, let's see. Open the one Zoe I was going to kill is already dead. Okay, let's see. So, one, mm, mm. let's go. How, how, uh, how hurt is this one that's still alive? Uh, it is, uh, it's actually pretty hurt. It's, okay. uh, it's looking pretty ragged. Its shadowy I... form is looking a little shredded. Why am I not seeing the tail? There's the tail. Okay. There we go. Now I'm facing the right way. All okay. right. And we are sure that, uh, the silver bullets work, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. Okay, so I'm just going to use my automatic. Okay. Handy. <laughs> Roll to hit. Fifteen. Okay, uh, that hits. And for damage, ugh, seven. Okay, seven is pretty good. Doesn't kill it, but... Hurts it. All right. And we're at the top of round four, and it's Jonathan's turn. (laughs) All right. You guys are, um... are starting to feel the heat again. It's getting, uh, it's starting to get really hot in here. Well, I would take off all my clothes, but. Johnny, you beat me to it! You just have, you just have to molt. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta molt. <laughs> then I can't fly, so things get real complicated. Um, I'm going to cast, um, Mind Dart. Or Mind okay. Sliver. I always call it Mind, mind Dart. Sliver. Yeah. Drive is a that a is that a saving throw? Yeah, DC thirteen intelligence saving throw. Um, okay. Uh, no, that's a seven. So no, it failed, or no, it didn't work. Right, it failed. It got a seven. So three psychic damage. Oh. Ow, my head. I'm chipping away at it. 
that didn't help a lot. But and it's got a minus four on its next saving throw. Okay. So I can stack them. And that is my turn. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't move this if I did that. All right. Okay. Oh, and did did Ralph do a um, spell slot for Hellish Rebuke? Because that, that takes a spell slot. Um, I went to my D and D Beyond, and everything looks different now. <laughs> oh. Everything's like my 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 second level stuff is all red. With okay, a blue I... tag on it. I don't know what's going on. That's weird. Um, well, so that was Jonathan's turn, and now it's Tressa, and we'll, we'll we'll get to the when we when we get to your turn, we'll look at that. Okay. Okay, uh so Tressa killed that thing, and she is on the warpath. So she's gonna go. And and Jonathan's illusion would not set off a trap. Okay, and so she's gonna go up there, and raffle smite again. What? Okay. So that hits. Twelve damage. It is hurt really bad. And that's where she'll and that's the end of her turn, and then it's Musette and then Ralph. Just a quick aside, when uh, when Jonathan said it was getting hot and he was gonna take off its clothes, all I can think about is uh all I can think about is this rap song that I got here from uh, Nelly. That was the rap yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah, yeah that, that that was the joke he was making when he said that. Yeah. But I don't have clothes to take off. Yeah. Someday we will be far enough from that song that it, we won't think about it automatically. Oh, yeah. yes, we will. <sighs> yes, we will. Okay, so I'm going to move over. Uh, one, two, three. Here we go. Um, uh, this guy. Uh, I guess just shoot, shoot, right? Okay. So, ah, Jesus, I got a one. Oh. And you're standing on a trap. Yeah, fire trap. Yeah, uh oh. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Well. Oh Lord Jesus, it's yeah, a fire. First, to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So. Uh. 11 plus 4, 15. Okay, it's you managed to hit. dodge out of the way. So which way Which way did you dodge? Okay, up or down? Here. Okay. It'll hit Chirkavir, okay. too. And, then, uh, and now we've got ranged weapon uh, critical failure chart. Hey, Ryan. Yes. It looks like it should hit Chirkavir. Yeah, I'm going to say that he's on the outside of that. Okay. <laughs> Little squawk, watch your step. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Musette. I got a <laughs> roasted rump. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's my favorite um, kind of roast. Funny, funny bit oh of trivia gosh. from Hellbound. You know the scene where Julia is holding Frank's heart in Hellbound after she takes his heart? And then behind her, you see all those flames like burst. Like uh, Claire Higgins actually got a bit of a, a burn from that in her back. Ooh. Okay, you shoot uh, Chertovir. So roll damage. Jesus Christ! I shoot Chertovir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been laughing. Okay, hold on. Two to. 
2d6 plus 2. Yep. Oh. Three. Friendly fire! Plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Oh, 6 boy. damage? Alright. Okay. And uh, Ralph. So, what's going on with your character sheet? Should we, uh, should we share your screen really quick? Oh, it's, uh, I think it's down. Um, Is that? I'm down. I'm Ralph's. Ralph's all tuckered out. Oh, is it just 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 because he's uh, unconscious? Yeah. I'm I'm un I'm unconscious. Okay, roll uh, a ten sided die. Me? You're you're making a death save. Oh. Ryan, do so I take six? If you get a yep. if you get a ten or above, then uh, roll a twenty sided die. I'm sorry. And if you get a ten or above, then you get. No, he just changed it to the twenty. Okay. What are you saying, Ryan? Roll a twenty-sided die. Okay. What'd you get? A one. Okay. Oh. That. Uh, oh. That counts <laughs> as uh, two uh, two failures. Leave me out. Yeah. So Ralph's in big trouble. Uh oh. Damn. Okay, uh, next up is Shadow Demon. Quick question, Ralph. Uh, 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 Ryan, do I take six damage from, uh, from Musette's attack? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You got shot. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, I got 11 <laughs> points now. Oh, ouch. So Shadow Demon is in really bad shape. It's going to also take the disengage action and try to run and hide. I hate that song. Okay, 30. It's not hiding very well. It's That's <laughs> kind of where you can see it, but... Okay. I assume um, they can avoid the traps. Yeah. Turtovir's turn. You just got shot by Musette. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, you know, he shot me right in the shoulder. Okay. Um. Luckily, I'm ambidextrous, so. <laughs> oh my God! It's all the way up there. Okay. Let's see. Tess is in the way. So I'm going to move my character so I can do an attack. Um, I'm going to move them one, two, three, and four, because I have an extra 10 from Bladesong. OK. I'm going to directly face them. And um, I'm trying to rotate my character here. Oh, there we go. Cool. And I'm going to shoot um, Chromatic Orb one more time. Let me roll okay. for that. You, you know, you could have done Chromatic Orb from where you were standing. You didn't have to run up in their face to do that. Oh, well, wouldn't that hit, like, Tressa or Jonathan no, Siegel? No. no, it's fine, unless you got, like, a, a, a one, and then I might roll on a chart to see if something terrible like that happens. But. Okay. Well, I wanted to make sure I hit. So okay. I rolled and I got a 22. So okay. now let's roll for damage. It's a 3D. Well, you pick what kind of damage. I'm going yeah, to pick. Which kind of damage do you want to do? So since they're, um, let's see. I'm going to try for a lightning damage. Because I don't know. These guys are like demonic. So I don't know if lightning is going to be okay. more. Uh, lightning damage. And I'm going to roll 3D8. Okay. The effect. And I've got 12. All right. The lightning has no effect. Okay. Well, that was the wrong choice. <laughs> all, right. all right. And now it's Zoe's turn. So I didn't I didn't damage them at all. No. Uh, and you ran up in his face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I got an 11 points. I'm going to snack furiously for a while. Okay. Sorry, I'm just blowing my map up so I can see a little bit better. Okay, so let's see. Where am I? There I am. One, two. Yeah, so for people three, that have ranged attacks, you really don't need to walk up right to within the range of their claws to attack them with like a gun or a spell. 
Well, I want to. <laughs> okay. You got your magical there. bag. So there. Yeah, all right. You don't want to heal her boy? Well, I suppose I could, seeing as how he squandered those points I gave him. <laughs> Youngin. Youngin. And, 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 and when it's his turn next, he might die. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He'll learn his lesson. Yeah, I'll bring. Don't worry, I'll bring him back. Uh, let's see. Mm, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Well, yeah, you can't. You don't have that yet. Uh, you're yeah, right. I should go over here. And you can't take resurrect care of right now. Okay. So let me see. Where's my thingy here? I want. Are you down to zero now? He's unconscious and he's taken. He's failed two death saves. Yeah, the he next one oh, yes. more. He's, he's another he's one. He's dead. Okay, because the reason I'm asking is uh, this spare the dying is touching a living creature that has zero hit points. But that's what I'm asking. Is that where you at? Where yeah. he's at right oh, now? Oh, that would that would totally that would bring him back up to one hit point and he wouldn't be dying anymore. Okay, let me let's go ahead and do that. So, Ryan, is this like the Jericho game, computer game thing, where they would reanimate the people who were taken on a knee or something? Absolutely not. Okay. Why is this not letting me do this? I'm clicking on Spare the Dying. It just says at will. Touch. Yeah, so yeah you, I think it's a it's a cantrip, right? Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he, Ralph has one hit, is back up with one hit point. Thank okay. you, Zoe. You're welcome. I can see okay. you again. Ooh, it, it is the colors. top of round five, and it's Jonathan's turn. All right, I will do another mind sliver. Turn called dart on um, this guy. So it's DC 13 intelligence, and he's got a minus four on that save because of the last time I hit him with the mind sliver. Oh, it's minus four, 1d4 to save. Okay, yep. and he's doing an intelligence save right now? Yes. Ah, my dice are going everywhere. Okay. So, wow. That's a three uh, plus two is five total. Well, I don't do it. Okay, what's the damage? Another three. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. So... He's hurt even more. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay, uh, Tressa. Well, actually, before I will move and just take the attack of opportunity. Okay. All right. It's 17 at, at disadvantage. Okay, 16 and... You got a 16 to hit. That so that does not... misses, right? Yes. Okay. He missed. Rawr! She missed. Musette's yeah, turn. Looks like these monsters are a little smarter. They don't throw their swords at the seagull. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't even have any swords. Okay, so one, two, two, two... Wait, oh, wait, you know what? Sword. I don't have to do that. Hold on. So, Ralph is awake now. Yeah. But still not doing too great. And I have another healing word that I can cast. Yeah, Ralph is like opening one eye and the other eye is still closed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's got a foot in the grave. Wait. Hold on. My D and D Beyond me. just gave me an error code. Oh, awesome! Thanks a lot, D and D Beyond. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> that was really flipping weird. Hmm. Uh, D four plus two, right? That's what you're doing. Uh, this one is a one D four plus two. Okay. Okay, so 
Oh, so, Joe, what is what are we looking at with this screenshot? Oh, I that's my D and D Beyond. I was I was talking about earlier. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know what that means. Just ignore it till later. Okay. It looks okay. Okay, so I just need to do the D four, right? Right. Oh, well, uh, is this like cure wounds or something? What is, uh, or, no, or... for Ralph. Yeah, healing word. Oh, healing word. Yeah, D4. Okay. Or was it 2D4 plus 2 last time you did it? It was last time it was 2, but this one is at a lower level. Oh, this okay. So, word. yeah, D, D4 plus okay. 2, I think, probably. Plus 2, yeah. yeah. Uh, 1 plus 2, 3. So you get 3 hit points back. Yay. You're still not at maximum Ralph, but you feel a little better. You're still Ralph. Right, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So now, Ressa still had a turn, I think, didn't she? Yeah. You said something about Tressa having a turn, and then she was Jonathan before Siegel had an opportunity thing. Okay. So she's going to go over there and just hit him. All right. With her glaive. Tressa for the win. Come on. Yeah. And that hits. Wow. Uh, 14 damage, it is dead. She would have been here for her she, squad. She crushes its skull in with her glaive and slices her its head in half. Mm. Some of it splatters on my tunic and I go like, whoa, watch out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dry cleaning's expensive. Okay, they are dead. And everybody seems like they're in, uh, used up a lot of spells. And, and have you guys kept track of how many bullets you fired? Uh, I did two. <laughs> Yeah, and there's a, on, on your equipment, you can go into the bullets and like subtract the number out. Okay. Oh. I mean, Tressa has some more, has uh, 30 in her backpack. So she can refill you. And this is still just level two, right? Level two of the, the yeah. Gregory's Folly or whatever it's called. <laughs> right, you're right. By the way, great use of, of you know, um, what's the name of the story from the Books of Blood? Uh, down Satan. Down Satan, yeah. Tressa should have said, down, demon. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. There, yeah, if you guys had looked in the uh, gift shop, there were a bunch of t-shirts that had uh, other sayings on them. Oh. We'll grab one on the way out. Yeah, Exit like through the gift shop. There's a, there's a not today, yeah. Satan. Oh, Wait a minute, wait a minute, I gotta show you the shirt. All right. I actually have a shirt. What? <laughs> Hang on. What? We should, we should totally get this place. Whoa, I'm falling off my bed here. We should totally get this place as a sponsor. Maybe today, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's pretty cool. It's two o'clock, okay. All right. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so armor. combat is over. What do you guys want to do? Um, oh, nice thing. Take a small rest. I think we yeah, take uh, a rest. well, you where you are right now, you are not able to take it's too hot. Oh. You can't you uh, can't rest in here. Can I use my cantrips to gum up all the furnaces? Yeah. Okay. So I want to Blow do baby blow. Yeah. I'm like uh I'm going to say something like, uh, it'll be a cold day in hell before these demons get us. <laughs> um, aren't we in hell? No. Not yet. No. You're, you're, in, a fake, you're in a fake hell. Fake sort of. Hell. If we're going to rest for an hour, we could just go back up and peruse the gift shop. Sure. If you want to do that. Yeah, I guess we could. I mean, everybody we has to be careful about the traps. Yeah, you guys watch your step. But we can. Uh, is there any? Was there any food left on the 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 food court, Ryan? No, no, no. It no. was uh, it was long long uh, dried up. Yeah, there's some. There's some call. It was some, those cabbage uh, chips. Yeah, remember those some... cabbage chips that I got that were so gross. It was all. It was just that. <laughs> just that, and like a big <laughs> vat of uh, coleslaw yeah. that was three months old. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so I gummed everything up. Okay. Uh, I guess we could we could uh, 
Jonathan, do you want to go back upstairs by yourself? No. I was just saying, if we're going to take a, long, a short rest, that's one hour downtime, so we yeah. might as well just go back outside. Like, okay. Because we're close to the door, so why stay down here? Right. I think this a is a good cliffhanger for next episode. Uh, so, yeah, well, how about we do that? Okay, well, do you want to do your... So what do you guys want to do? We don't we need to get out of here? <laughs> you going upstairs to take a short rest? Yeah. Yes, we're going it's, upstairs that's not to really, eat the... Yeah, short rest, you got to do stuff. That's not really a cliffhanger. Okay. <laughs> um... I mean, I don't know. I think this is a good stopping point, but uh, since I turned this room we'll into a, a, off until uh, yeah, until we finish the short rest, at least. Okay. So, does anybody have anything that they can heal uh, Ralph with? Well, a short rest will heal a little. He can heal a little okay. bit. Okay. So let's let's go do that. Cause I'm almost dead to, again too. Yeah. All right. So we're back upstairs. And we can poke through the gift shop. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all short rest. Should be up you here, guys right? probably have never used it yet, uh, but for warlocks, you get all your spell slots back. And um, for anybody that's hurt, you can use hit dice to heal yourself if you want to. Yeah. So we just click the short rest button, right? Yeah, and then you and then you click on how many hit dice you want to roll to get to heal yourself if you're hurt. I'm when, not hurt, uh, so. Yeah, so like Ralph would probably want to use all of his, which gives you three eight-sided dice plus your constitution bonus for each die. Oh, my D&D &D then... says, whoops, we rolled a one on our API check. We're heading into town to visit the blacksmith for repairs. Try again after a short rest. Mine yeah. keeps doing that. Uh, so you're not able to do a short rest? I I've just been... Mine initially did that, but then I basically went out and went back, signed back in, and like everything was fine. But that was when I was first signing in. It was it was almost like it wasn't uh, accepting my username and password. So for some when reason, I do, when I do short rest, it says recover, and then has a box that says reset maximum HP changes, and then wizard has three empty slots. So I got right now three spell slots used, I think. Yeah, and they, they you don't get those back from a short rest, only from okay. a long rest. Okay. So that's like if you sleep all night. Oh, I see. So what only the I warlock do? is the only one that gets his spell slots back from a short rest. So should I just use for recover? Yeah. Okay. Take short rest. Okay. I took the short rest. I think. Wait, nothing's happening. Oh, relevant yeah. ability. You gotta roll the hit dice to, to heal yourself. Oh. So you get three uh, six sided dice. You can use up to three if you need them. You can roll them one at a time so you don't waste them. So is that for the recover? We set maximum HP changes during this rest? Yeah, you just you, you have to roll how many hit points you get back. Okay, and how You get three six sided dice plus your constitution bonus on each die. On each die? Yeah. Okay, so I rolled three. That's three, three, four. That is a ten. My constitution is. Let's see, what's my constitution? Cool. All right, and then I add I add that number to my hit points. Yeah. All right. Okay. Where's my constitution, Ryan? Your constitution is. Uh... The third stat. At oh, the top. plus two. So that's uh, three plus three plus four. That's ten. Plus two per each die. That's six. Sixteen. So yeah. Do you need sixteen hit points? Well, I just need nine because I have okay, a maximum. Okay. Well, yeah. Point. That's why I was saying you could roll each one individually so you don't waste yeah. it because you 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 don't get those back until you take a long rest. Okay. So and I was got... at eleven hit points. Now do I add another? Do I add? 16 to that? Do I go back to my maximum hit points of 20? Yep. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yo. Okay. I'm back to maximum HP. Okay. Alrighty. So, is Aldrin up here? Or did she go out? Uh, oh. 
Yeah, yeah, she she's not in here. Okay. So we go into I go into the gift shop and uh, catch up with Jonathan. Well, the gift shop's a little dilapidated. Uh, there are a few shirts left. They're kind of gaudy looking, and they have uh, they have uh, sayings on them. It looks like there are matching shirts that are written in English and French, and uh, I forget what the other one was. I wrote it down. Spanish? No. Japanese? It's, no, you don't have to guess. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not interested in t-shirts, I guess. I'll put a t-shirt on so I can take it off when it gets hot. Maybe I'll okay. go there. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> but I so can't you stick really your little it. wings through the sleeves thing? <laughs> I don't really fit. It was a joke. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, look at me. I'm a human. Squawk, squawk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put on all the clothes. I'm going to go back down and pick up that gold nobody picked up. Oh, Berber. So English Berber in French. That's optimistic. And on the way out, I want to mention that 50 gold pieces I left in the in the box. Because I, I can't carry that around. So if somebody wants some money... Yeah, sure. Oh, I can go down okay. with you and, and grab that box and bring it upstairs. You can you can press the button on the room if it closes, right? Yeah, I think we can just go down, press the button, and grab the money and come back up. Okay. Yeah. Or, or say we did. Make, make sure somebody is out there to push the button again because it closes yeah. by itself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I go think... in, grab the box, and then he clicks the button. I get out. Okay. Yeah. okay. And I go like this. This can buy uh, a lot of books for the library or, or the Jericho squad. Okay, so yeah, put the 50 gold pieces in your inventory. 50 gold pieces, nice. I'm rich, biatch. Uh, is that an equipment? Yeah. Okay. Um, how do I add that real quick? In the equipment, there's the, the currency. Currency, yeah. Right oh. at the top. Uh, equipment, currency right at the top. I do not see it. I see... That's on the right. It's counting from the top, it's like the third box down where all your actions and spells and stuff are. It's on the right-hand side of it. At least it is yeah, online. Yeah, you click on, like, the word currency there. There it is. So, 30 gold? Yep. Or 50? And you want to add instead of subtract. Was it 30 or 50? 50. All right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's not uh, nothing to at. Got 60 gold. I'll, I'll All share right. some with you, Jonathan. I'll share something with everybody. Yeah, I, I, I can't seem to have forgotten my wallet and like pat my feathers on my rear. This, this will <laughs> buy you a lots of hot dogs and uh, pancakes. Well, why spend money on hot dogs when I just eat them out of the trash? Well, cigarettes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I usually just take what I want. Or you can just walk it. into the store. You know, the, the door will open. You walk in there. You come out with a bag of chips. <laughs> and snatch a pack of cigarettes. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some yeah. prepackaged sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, well, so, um, so what can we do now? Can we just hang out here for, for, uh, for a while and... Yeah, and if you if you want to hang out here, you can. Uh, if you want to continue down, uh, okay. You could is also... this room comfortable? Is it uh, hot? It, it, yeah, it's not. It's. I mean, it's a little. It's hot because it's in the desert, but it's not hot like downstairs. Cool. So I guess we can we can hang out here and recollect ourselves, okay. um, and then go back down for level three next episode. So why are we going back down? I mean, we got he's its cousin. We have... And we killed we, those we... things. Well, we got to put the rune and close the portal, right? Yeah. Well, Princess says, that, that is out. the reason you came here. Yes. Doesn't say it's to complete the other uh, failed mm -hmm. attempts. Okay. Well, those things are gone. Let's go ahead and knock this out. I'm sure there'll be more on each mm -hmm. level, but. Yeah. Oh. It always works out that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's going to be nine levels. 
Well, this you guys got to right? level two. Yeah. It gets progressively worse the farther down you go. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that since all the the Jericho squad got killed on level three, that the enemy from level three is probably still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it, it was the and just for thoughts for next time, it was the like a swamp monster with tentacles. So maybe we could come up with a better plan. Yeah, that's right. a good idea because it. we should probably look up more info about that Dante's Inferno that we were warned about. Yeah, yeah. So your smartphones might work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay, so I'm going to sit on one of the pews and uh, just rub my, you know, sit down and get, the, get some rest. Um, do I have any provisions on me? Let me check. I don't think I do. Let's see. Rations, one day. Okay. So um, can I consume and, uh, some rations? And and Tressa says, you know, I, I have we have some food in the tent if we want to go get something to eat. All right, then I'm going there. Uh, maybe we can catch up with Aldrin, get some food. And along that sounds way. like a good idea. Okay. Yeah, and if you guys are really messed up, you could just wait and come back the next day. Uh, to go on to level three. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's let's see. Okay. Well, we we got to get uh, Ralph back up because he's got, well, he's got a, a long rest, so he'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. He did a short rest. Yeah. <laughs> so did you did you heal yourself? Did you get points to heal yourself with your short rest, uh, Ralph? Me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're all good. Yeah. All right. So I guess yeah. this is a good cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll leave it up to the DM. All right. Yeah. So um, that's it for today, I guess. And and uh, we'll we'll pick this up again probably in a month or so. Technical producer Rob Danhauser. Score in Magica Cradle of Tersemet by Ben Warren. Character design Asya Yordanova and Bird Ninja Art. Additional illustration by Richard Kirk, used with permission. You can find the show notes for this episode and join the discussion over at www.clivebarkercast.com. We've got an archive of past episodes, news, features, and reviews, along with all the ways you can connect with us. You can subscribe on every other place you can find podcasts. Share your thoughts with us and share our podcast with your friends. The Clive Barker Podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and news blog that's not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Thanks for listening.